Okay. I'm on the wounds. Okay. Less than five. Yeah, less than five. Yep. There we go. Now we got a nice cozy place to sit with fire. Wow, that was quick. All right, Nidhogg. Here we go. <laughs> what we left off last night. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so there's going to be lots of AoEs mm. and lots of AoEs. Mm. Oh. And some ads. Okay. Oh, right. AOEs. And then an ad that ignores aggro. And then lots of AoEs. Oh. Yeah. I did increase the, the bit rate, so I don't know if the, the stream is going to look any better. Or if it's going to fuck up. <laughs> Alright, John's skill shot. <laughs> <laughs> My name's skill shot. John skill shot. <laughs> so those... Oh, okay. Well, I just died. Fuck. Yeah, the AoEs don't look the same. This song is like full-blown Snake Eater. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love this song, though. Boy, that is... Absolutely unfortunate. <laughs> I got one on, on me. Jump, skill shot. Get the other one. <gasps> oh, I'm dead. I died <laughs> quick. I did like instantly. I'm about to die because nobody's taking the aggro off of this shit. The shadow dragon. And I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that, that one you need to grab aggro, but the shadow dragon goes to random people. Yeah. No, nah, like the uh, shadow. Kill the shadow dragon no, first. No, kill the. Other two first. Okay. I guess start with yeah, Falak yeah. was on me and I got fucked up. Okay. I couldn't do anything. Fucked right now. <laughs> yeah, that was the other. Because the Shadow Dragon, you can dodge most of all of its attacks. Yeah. Because it's area effect. He doesn't auto attack. Thank you. And now we go for the Falak. Okay. Fuck you, Phallic. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, stack up back here. Oh my god. I love being over here. It's so hey, comfortable. Is that a stinny? Oh, it's too cold. Will someone warm me up? Oh no! Oof. Uh, that's an interesting form. Tank Buster. I fucking love this music so much. Drill! Go, yeah. Oh no. Here's Kogel. Sure, Sapphire would recognize these. Uh... <laughs> oh, and um, in the extreme, he uses Fade, Fang, and Claw. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Get away no. from the middle. No, I think I'll stay in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just gonna fucking take it. Fuck you, 14,000. 
Oh god. <laughs> You're getting cornered there. Yeah, they just like brought it straight to me. Tank Buster. See, this fight is easy. Yeah. Just die a couple times, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that was that was my fault entirely. <laughs> 100% Easy fight Ow Get out of those <laughs> That's also bad <laughs> Why? Why? Alright, everyone stack up behind him Behind or, the lab Yeah, Okay. on his tail For this um, Oh, okay oh. And stay in Stay Staying. Staying. Wow. Otherwise, otherwise, that would have, like, insta killed. <laughs> it's a exact yeah. marker that hits, like, five times. I missed that. I good. made that mistake the first time I fought him. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad also, that I. Balls are going to explode Bomberman style. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. I didn't oh see that ball God. across the way. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. No. I'm dead. I could time. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go ahead and limit, I guess. Sure. Shoot Fuck him. you! Whoops, wrong. <laughs> I love that. Thanks, Rado. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Look who it is. My favorite character. Oh my god, that's a... That's a critical engagement? I just saw that. The fuck? Oh, the Chocobo? Fuck! Yeah. I'm so excited. Is that, like, a new thing? Yeah, yeah. it's the new area. I mean, we're not even gonna talk to him, huh? Okay. Oh, we can't. Yeah. See ya. Bye, Stinian. I'm sure you'll be fine. Or something. Bastinian. This is not your hand, worm. I would ask but one last favor of you, warrior of light. Finish me, now, while I have the beast subdued! You waste your time! Kill me! It is the only way! Ending Nidhogg! will be my final duty. No! You can't die like this! I won't let you!
showing me the people I would prefer to have not have died. <laughs> right. Thank you, game. You gotta save this one, though. Just this one. <sighs> Stream crashing, but where area Texas to live in? Uh, near Dallas. We're in that area. Is the stream not uh, doing? Is it is it crashing for anybody else? It seems to be. I don't have any drop frames or anything. No, they're saying there's their stream crashing. It's not the okay. stream. Okay, I was just crashing. making sure that it's not. Check phrasing. Well, I, I <laughs> no, I read that. It's like I adjusted the um, bit rate not too long ago, so I'm wondering if if it's happening for anybody else. Gotcha. I was trying to get better quality. I smaller. Yeet the lies right in the fucking chasm. Sure, nothing bad will happen. I guess you can't stab them. I guess not. Strange. Seems to be running fine on my end. I don't know if the quality is any better, but it is, uh, it's not lagging up as far as I can tell. Yeah, I watched it for a second there. Didn't seem like it was lagging up, though your voice did distort a little bit in Discord, so it may just be the increased bitrate is competing. It's It's been doing that, like, every day. I mean, mm. it's is it doing it, like, right now? Is right it, now like, you're distorted? Fine. No, it but, was like, just a moment. Most it of was the time, just... you'll, there'll be moments where you'll talk and you won't even come through Discord at all. It'll just stop working. But the thing is, whenever I was I was listening to your stream to check quality and all that, and it was coming through fine in the stream. Yeah, because it's not like real it's not um relying on Discord at the very least. I want them ready to receive. Yeah. <sighs> the fucker gets to live. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should wash this armor. Get the dragon blood off. Allow me to do this in peace. Our boy's okay. <laughs> Every time I think of his studio, now all I think about is them talking about, it's like, who are those two people from Heaven's War? The, the, you know? And then they immediately reference that book in Gooball. Which is the was it the gay dragon? The, the dragon and the gay <laughs> and the boy yeah, yeah, gay. It was. It's like, or the boy and the dragon yeah, gay. Yeah, there it was. That's what it was. And so anytime <laughs> I think of a city, and that's the first one. It's like the dragon gay. Your deeds this day have saved a great <laughs> I mean, the community's all for it. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, since y'all are gonna be doing a lot of talking quests and walking around quests for a while. Yeah. I'm gonna jump into what we were doing before I head out, because I gotta have another early night. Yeah, sounds good. So, um, let me here, let me change things. Which wing did they pull off of him? Because yeah. I, I didn't notice him missing a wing. The back wing? No? Mm -hmm. Nah, mm, okay. That's fine. Group back. <laughs> Fine, they can take eyes out of their, their sockets. The battle is won. Come back, Chris Elger. We can do more <sighs> now than I need Green to hug you. Well. Give him a good <laughs> pet. Maybe a treat. Being a good boy. The hands of the healer, and the grace of oh yeah, the so it's it's available to you, by the way, Grano. To the all sounds good. To all officers, so you can mess with it. Like what I was going for is I'm gonna tr I'm gonna do something similar to what you're saying. And the top floor, except I was mm -hmm. thinking 
Eric did mention something. We are going to want to put retainers in there because you can put retainers there <laughs> that you can use. You can so I was thinking like only on the outside. Only on the outside? Okay, then I'll do stalls on the outside. You can put vendors on the inside, but not retainers. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's what it was. Because in those um in that imager uh link I put in, mm -hmm. they hid vendors inside a gigantic wardrobe because they didn't like oh, people yeah. standing <laughs> inside. So they put a gigantic wardrobe around them so you couldn't see them standing in the house. <laughs> well, well like I don't like them standing around, so I, I'm covering them up. Mm. Well, we'll figure something like that, but I'm thinking like office study up top and kind of like a little grenade and then, then the dining bar area downstairs yeah i would definitely like a hot springs or a hot tub bath somewhere on the property for sure should that be outside or inside uh, i wouldn't mind it either one well that's gonna once we can get that um also why is it an orchestra a uh, fucking jukebox Two hundred thousand. Because some of the materials are kind of hard to make. I can craft one for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the pitiful yes. <laughs> we don't have, I'm just like, this is great. This is great. And then I sit there in silence. I'm like, I'm missing something. Oh my goodness. I also have a lot of music I have not put in my um my room yet. So I have that as well. Well, I think. Ask, is it shared yeah. from what you have or? Yeah, so like... Well, it's in my retainer at the moment. I it's just it's a bunch of music I haven't put in a jukebox yet. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is I, I'm Delta. Is it shared with the ones we've already got unlocked for ourselves? It's the... individual, so one person can put set music to play in the jukebox. Then everyone in the house can hear it. Okay, but it, what I'm saying is the music list is what you have on your person. Your is that communal? Yeah. But you can set it to a playlist, and multiple people can set music to the playlist. Mm, we need to do that. One for each. One for each person. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, where's Metal Brute Justice mode? Mm. <laughs> Just get the fucking King Mog song playing nonstop on loop. No. <laughs> okay, right, so the Mom. last vigil. Yes. Poor cure on hard times. <laughs> and also, I didn't even think about um, my current title with uh, the the name of the free company. Oh. The Wings of Time. Oh, yes. Is that one you have in... Your place, Delta, the Oriental bathtub? Is that what that was? I think so, yeah. Okay. The heroes of the hour return. Why is everybody in armor? I guess even the, the child. It was the memories of fallen friends and not a heroism which saw us through at the last. Sworn knight of Ishgard, I had hoped to do more for my city. Well, we cannot all be heroes, dear brother. Let us put away our pride for a moment and revel in the valiant deeds of our comrades. For your sterling service to Ishgard, we salute you. And while we're on the subject of valiant deeds, I believe I myself have earned some small measure of recognition. Under my watchful command, the ballistas of the Outer Ward struck down a veritable swarm of Dravanian invaders. Mm, okay. My Lord's command <laughs> hey, Eric. Certainly watchful. So, back to that place. As the siege crews took aim, and continued to watch as countless wyverns met their end. Indeed, the Ward's defenders proved so well drilled that my Lord had little occasion to sweat watching. Deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna... I guess y'all have a good one until y'all are done with your what you're doing. We'll swap over to the other one just so we don't say things. No problem. Our 
friends are doubtless weary from their exertion. Yeah, give a shout if y'all are doing like a dungeon or something. Sure. Yeah, next time we get a duty or raid or something. I'm most grateful for your hospitality, my lord. But I believe I shall pay a visit to the Temple Knights Infirmary. Pray excuse me. Master Alfino has grown. The plight of his stricken brother in arms pains him more than his own wounds. In which respect he has come to resemble you, warrior of light. Go then, visit the Azure Dragoon, and grant him what comfort you may. Forgot. Night. Back to the last night. Forgotten night. <laughs> standing up. Oh, standing on my table again, I see. We can uh, wind up Emmerich for this, yeah. and then also the coat of um, Fortone. Yeah. So if you wanted his big fluffy coat. Where's Rhys for all the minions? Oh boy. Now what? Now what? <laughs> <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Surprise, he's still a dragon or something. Oh. Cutscene warning. Oh my god. Oh, is it one of those? Oh, get ready. Get your popcorn. Are you guys ready? I'm actually going to step away and grab something real quick if we're going to be sitting here for a while. Yeah. Give, give me a sec. So I, guess this I is forgot be there was the, a cutscene warning here. This is this gonna be the end of of Heaven's Sword? This is pretty much the end of Heaven's Sword. Yeah. Everything from now on will be built up to Stormblood. Fun. The retreat cool. world of ice is happening. <laughs> this is going to be nice. <laughs> that must sound fun. Oh. Now he's making gremlin noises. Great Is Stinian okay in there? <laughs> it's just a Stinian making the noises. <laughs> oh St God. Stinian. Do you hear God. him making gremlin sounds? I hear it. <laughs> I hear every bit of it. <laughs> Good lord. I live with this. <laughs> How? How do you live with this? That's a good question. How? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just pure ignorance. <laughs> oh, God. It's my life. It's just how it be. That's just how it be. <laughs> I think you have some neighbors. I, mean, I, I heard a thump above me. <laughs> oh, I want to hear it. Neighbors upstairs, fucking, you guys were banging. You were banging so loud one night that, um, not that kind of banging. <laughs> oh. Uh, in fact, quite the opposite. Um, like, it made our ceiling fan shake. Damn. And there was shouting. Like, like oh. somebody might have 
hopefully not been abused, but like, that's an intense argument going on above us. Jesus. Yeah, it wasn't good. What's up? Anyway, my mic was muted, so you didn't hear anything. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to go to the cutscene. <laughs> oh, oh, was that I was one? Justinian. Oh, yeah, it was absolutely him screeching in pain in the infirmary. <laughs> All right, I'm pressing okay, go. Let's go. I'm just going to put on auto text and. Forgive me. When I saw you awaken, I could not... It was such a relief. We feared you might never wake up. Now, now, Astinian. If Master Alphano thought any less of you, you would still be Midfog's plaything. Or dead. Aye, aye, twas very just. I thank you, Alphano. This is the first time we're seeing him by the helmet. Yes. So I, for my part, owe you an apology. When last we met, I did willingly loose an arrow at your heart. Can you forgive me? There is naught to forgive, Hamerick. You but acted in defense of Ishgard as was your duty. Were you any less single-minded about it, I would Angry that he's long-haired hot man. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> <laughs> Of the hatred I felt after Nidhogg slew my family, when no path remained save vengeance against Dragonkind. Neither one of us had a choice. But I was blessed with something Nidhogg was not comrades and teachers to console and admonish me. them to gainsay my obsession he would surely have consumed me as Nidhogg's did him and we would have been in all respects alike though his shade is banished his spirit gathered upon the sea of clouds I see only a joy that is passing where once I craved vengeance Welcome, 
And his character just said fucking what maybe. And then also <laughs> now he's hot, so it's like cool. <laughs> no, he's hot and cool. Oh no. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> How dare this game do this? It's not right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leave him the fuck alone. <laughs> He's not going to get well talking all day. It's like somebody waking you up in the middle of the night and expecting you to, like, stay awake. It's like, I just, can I go back to sleep? <laughs> Please. Not just that, but you were also, like, beaten to death. Really. Yeah. You were just, like, completely out of it. The narration has an echo as if he's in the room. Twas there with one decree that the thousand year rule of the archbishops was ended, paving the way for a new republic. Fuck all this church shit. <laughs> let good things happen for once. <laughs> yeah. the many there we go, not echoing anymore. ...were the ambassadors of Dragonkind, a fitting symbol of Ishgard's newfound peace. People looked on in awe as he soared through the heavens on dragon back. And by their cheers did they hail him an azure dragoon for a new age. Two elf snacks. Exit the season. 
<laughs> Thus were the notes of the dragon song rewritten. Okay, yeah, he's missing it from his left wing. Oh. The bottom part of his left wing. He's missing the third. Oh, I see. It's gotta be throwing him off, though. Yeah. Just like. <laughs> cross-legged, one arm propped up. It's just such a comfortable flight. <laughs> Looked over, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got to see McGarson room out in the cutscene again. Yeah. This is him writing his memoirs, I guess. That does say Heaven's Orden in Eorzean. Yeah, I was noticing the, the consistency there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for you to out. Now the cutscene. Oh Just having second thoughts about getting put back into power after <laughs> relinquishing it. And like, no, I don't want to be in power. Oh, fine. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he doesn't want people to think that he like like dismantled the government just so he could be in the high place in the new government. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I, I changed the way the government is, and look at me, I'm in the highest spot in one of the pieces. When it wasn't before, hmm. well, more trustworthy people, at least, or at least but that uh, might yeah. look suspicious to those yes. who don't know. I swear to God, there's like a cutscene with him talking to some Kingdom Hearts robed assholes. <sighs> oh. After saying <laughs> that we were friends. Yes, like several times. I would be. I would. I would cry. <laughs> Please don't do this. Wait, I think I went to the wrong place. Oh, last gonna go to the shit. Yeah, last vigil. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Fucking dead. He just popped. <laughs> he healed me out of existence. <laughs> it's like filling a balloon with too much air. <laughs> oh boy. That's right, I'm watching from a distance. I hope nobody's watching from a distance behind me. <laughs> uh, it would be a shame. Oh my god, when you said that, he was moving his mouth on my screen the exact... <laughs> like, like, perfectly synced on my screen. Perf I mean, perfectly. <laughs> I mean, they're obviously going to go for the eyes. This fucking... We should have done something more. Oh my god. I think Amrick was scared of the ice taking over you. Yeah. Because that would have um, been. We could toss him to the ground. That would have been very bad, yes. What if we toss him to the ground for a sec? It's like hit him with a sword, shot him with a gun. Oh, good. All <laughs> proceeding all according to plan. Over the curious mouse. Uh oh. <gasps> the boots. Surely it could be a character that hasn't been involved since the beginning of the game. Surely. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't know who it is. It's Thinkrid. <laughs> oh, yeah, Thinkrid, <laughs> <Thinkred>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow stirs. Is it gonna be shadow bringers? I'm really glad this ended with peace with dragons because I was actually honestly expecting this to not even happen Before the whole at all. Oh yeah. I thought this was just gonna be like, yep, someday there'll be peace. Nope, it's today. <laughs> Wait a minute, we can travel to new areas with the airships now? I think so. It said in the wake of Ishgard's governmental reform, new, new airship routes have been sanctioned. Like the, uh... Oh. You can go to... Stormblood areas? Churning Mist or something. Oh. I think you can go to Heavensward areas with the airships. I believe is what that means. Oh boy, this next... Oh, Amrick's in a new outfit, it looks like. It's a new season of Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Pretty much is. Everything from here is now built up to Stormblood. Because we sure have... nothing bad will happen. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to spark the new season. Everything's just going to be hunky-dory. We're going to all be friends and having... Drinking, you know, hanging out at a table. I haven't had, I haven't the foggiest what to wear. Any thoughts? That's what I picked, and he just starts panicking. Like you would ask me. Uh, you, well, I'm sure that your personal friend of Sir Emmerich, you're at liberty to wear whatever you deem appropriate. That said, when in doubt, a man of note could do far worse than an alpine coat. Oh, so he wants me to wear. Sure. Okay. If we're not going to be getting in a fight anytime soon. No, this is the perfect time. Do we? We don't actually. We shouldn't no. have to, but I'm going to wear it for the lore. 
Yes, because <laughs> he told me to wear an alpine coat. So it's a nice looking coat. It's not bad. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Um, near the Astrologicum. Hmm? It is good. I'm wearing a nice coat. <laughs> Date with him, right? <laughs> Hell yes. There's that green stuff. It's Chocobo food. Sure. I see a, like a potato or a piece of bread off to the side. I'm all, not sure which. <laughs> to think the Moogles would prove such harsh taskmasters. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> I did not know you had suffered so in your quest for the war. <laughs> it's just now finding out. We have to fucking do the Moogle shit. I must say, your spirited accounts always come as a welcome change from the arid reports which fill my days. Mm. Please, bitch, don't <laughs> ruin this moment. Last time I was in a room when somebody drank wine, somebody got put into a coma. Or your light is now traumatized with drinks. I'm gonna have a fucking panic attack. Okay. Be good. Just staring him <laughs> down. Yeah, you <laughs> go put that away. You son of a bitch. Oh. What? Yeah, I see that. I see that bitch. Please, no country. I don't. Don't. Please. I'm gonna cry. He sees me looking at him. Though I have lived in these lands my entire life, <sighs> you speak of them, there Please. is much and more I have yet to see. Truly, yours was a marvelous journey. Oh, I already know which one I'm picking. <laughs> this wasn't all sh sunshine and lemon cakes. Why not join me on the yes, next? Yes. yes. Please. <laughs> please. I'm not simping. You're simping. <laughs> well, truth be told, when I think back on the sweeping vistas of the churning mists, I do feel some slight pangs of wanderlust. Alas, much as I would like to accept your invitation, I fear my present duties with the House of Lords demand my undivided attention. Someday, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Just don't die. I don't need this right now. By your deeds, you have helped us to lay the foundation for lasting reform. That was just bullshit on purpose just to make us nervous, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they know how we feel. Which must need to change. We the people must learn to let go of our hatreds and rise above. I mean, we were looking at them doing I that. Think I, that must have been a nod to maybe to see us achieve like, some measure of success. Just keeping how an like, eye on them. Even our character still feels that. Yeah. How suspicious we Hopefully. are. Like, we should know be. That the player feels that way, so they make the characters <laughs> like there on the steps of faith. close in on that. It's like, if you're rich, pour your own fucking drink. We to bulk at the challenges ahead. question of how best to strengthen ties with the other great nations of Eorzea has been debated at length in the Lords and Commons of late. As you may imagine, 
Maintaining stability during this period of historic upheaval is our paramount concern. Nevertheless, we are greatly indebted to the Alliance for their support during the Grand Melee, and it would be remiss of us not to repay their faith in kind. Of course, we owe you the greatest debt of all. And it is my hope that in extending our support to you and the Scions, we might also express our gratitude to our neighbors, nay, our fellow Eorzeans, whom we pray you will continue to protect. The Lords and Commons agree on very little, but not a soul in either house begrudges your order this offer of patronage. For all you have done and will do, we thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I throw it at him across the room. <laughs> Fuck you. May I ask a personal question? You're really just trying to make a Did that taste funny attacks. to you? <laughs> You're really just trying to give us heart attacks. Not as a scion, I mean, but what do you want for yourself? You know, like a cottage on the countryside, you know, you there. What? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't say things. Commander, pray forgive the interruption. Here we go. News from House Fortal. An urgent message for the Warrior of Light. I was instructed to deliver it without delay. A knife for you. Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> I like that that's just the joke worth ever now. <laughs> Shit. Knife for you, sir. Knife for you, sir. Respectfully, my lord, they have requested the Warrior of Light's immediate presence. So much for the date. You must go to them, my friend. And I shall go with you. Yes, come with me. I don't trust you being alone. I honestly don't. <laughs> You can't even fall off the fucking streets without getting st stabbed by <laughs> random people. Everybody's always got knives. Every ending marks a new beginning. Who's talking now? Is this the Stormblood narrator? From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. As did he. Only to be drawn onto another battlefield. Another and why force, can't I remember? As if by fate. Hmm? I can't remember. Oh, but who this is? <laughs> mm, it it's gotta be from like. It's probably somebody in the next chapter. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and change where our date is done. <laughs> no need to look fancy. Hey, right, let's go. Should just wear that. Wait. <laughs> Should have just worn what? Oh, uh, Delta was wearing a skimpy outfit. <laughs> oh, the oh, yeah. Spear outfit. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm seeing double. Four alpha nose. <laughs> Alphano's twin sister. She ran afoul of the warriors of darkness. Hang on. How did she... Oh, did they get injured on the way here? Because she was, like, running when Thancred rescued her. I've... It'll get explained. I had been okay. Yeah, he's probably going to tell us. Nest. Little did I know I was not the only one. Evidently, she had learned of their activities and attempted to shadow them on her own. Poorly. Tell us about... Tell us about the guy. We rescued her in the Twelves Wood, and together we fled north. But though I made every effort to cover our tracks, they caught up with us on the Ishgardian border. And in the ensuing struggle, Alize took an arrow to the shoulder. Ah. It was only after we had made good our escape 
but I realized it was poisoned. Got hit with an arrow. Thank you for coming so quickly. And you, Sir Emmerich. Think nothing of it. How is she? We have done all we can for now. Although the immediate danger has passed, the poison yet lingers in her blood. What kind of poison were they using? We came to Eorzea together, hoping to bring salvation to the realm our grandfather gave his life to protect. But when confronted with the bitter realities of its politics and its petty power mongers, she was driven to anger and to doubt. She refused to become embroiled in what she termed Eorzea's squabbles and distanced herself from the Scions. Though she remained hopeful of a brighter future, she would walk her own path. Would that it had not been so perilous. For all our differences, she's as dedicated as any Scion to the salvation of Eorzea. But more than that, she is my sister. To be reunited with her, only to lose her forever. Gods, even to speak the words. Take heart, Master Alfina. She will be attended by our most skilled Kairujans. Bear Mistress Levea to the infirmary at once. Apprise Captain Whitecape of the situation and inform him that she is to be treated as my personal charge. Wait, don't go. Please, come closer. Warriors of darkness are in league with the Asians. Slaughtering the Primals is but the first step in their plan. Tell us about something else, though. They make for Zelvatol to bring about Garuda's summoning and to kill her. Oh, you must. You must stop them. Okay. Okay. I I shall inform the others at once. Not gonna tell us about Posh Man. Master Thancred. Talking with the Asians. That you accompany Mistress Levea to the infirmary. Your knowledge of her injuries may well prove useful in determining her treatment. Of course. Spaghetti. Mm. Oh, I was like, why did you say spaghetti? It's a reward. <laughs> yeah, I see that now. <laughs> All I heard was I spaghetti. Heard spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. After the tall salad and scrambled eggs. Oh my god. Getting this, getting the scrambled eggs. Oh my god, <laughs> also, there's a quest in here. Oh, I believe you that's weren't there for... before. It's just a bullshit quest. It looks like. Oh, it's actually an important quest. It's uh, like a a recap. Oh, screw about the endless royal snow and it does give somewhere an in the white beyond. The end. Oh, even though it's not a plus mark. Yep. Sneaky. Uh, you remember wow. that pose of uh, harsh font would do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That's the emote you would get. Hmm. I've done every single one of them in the city so far, so I'm definitely grabbing it. I do think it's quite long, though. Hmm. Probably save it for off stream later or something. Yeah. 
my ontologies go from place to place. Himself at all. Oh my god. Grabs my digit each time. <laughs> wow. wow that was timed perfectly let me hide this one yeah I guess we can't drag it oh wow. it's right here Oh yeah, this place we couldn't go to before. Too bad we couldn't fly over this thing, huh? <laughs> Take a look behind. New dungeon. Okay. Actually, I like this dungeon. It's a fun one. They said to let him know when we got a new duty. Let's see here. Yeah. You think we'll be getting into the uh, next or new Stormblood areas tonight? It depends how. <laughs> dedicated or how long you want to go oh, uh, okay <laughs> so, so kind of because <laughs> we're about here let me actually count the quests for you post dragon song let's see <laughs> so we're on 3.4 Okay, we're not too far, actually. We've got 10 okay. quests in 3.4. 5 in 3.5, and then another 4 as the lead into Stormblood. So 19 quests before Stormblood officially starts. Yes. Okay. And do one of those give the Hrasvager minion... I don't know. Uh, they're in a they're on a duty, so we're Actually, just gonna queue up. After this dungeon, we've only got one more blocking us from a uh, storm button. Hey, I'll go ahead do the duty. Yep, I had a feeling they were both in the middle of something. Yeah, that instance is wild, as evidenced by the chocobo that wiped us. <laughs> <laughs> no, not this. Oh, okay. That's not till level 80. Oh, Is that what they're doing yeah, right now? Yeah, that's what they were doing. Okay. It sounds both fun and horrifying, weirdly yeah. enough. Kind of both, yeah. You Like, you wouldn't think just a measly red chocobo would be 
That's threatening. Nope. It's it's a. Uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. Yeah. That looks fun. I want a concussion. <laughs> Okay. Oop. If I remember right, the first boss of this place is a uh, Tingle. I'm sorry. I'm tingle. Cooling. Cooling. Pop. So there's just AoEs in this dungeon, huh? Oh, yeah. Just oh, actually, the AoEs are the too. Interesting. Oh. You see how it has vulnerability on the... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bunch of slugs. Christy Slugulars. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, I have, not, I've done that. I have a regen. I'm getting aggro back. Okay. He's being too hasty. Ooh, yeah. that's a big one. Oh, it's yeah. him. That's the, the frog. Okay, and crossbow. Thank you for the AoE right on top of me. <laughs> it got stunned, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I was like, the second I pull up a fucking AoE. Yeah, the rocks give the mobs vulnerability, so that's nice. Nice. Okay. Frog? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Tingle, I see. Pop the balloon with the drill. Nope. Okay. Not with the spear either. Right, and you're jumping too. <laughs> yeah. Some bullshit, my bullshit, friend. My friend. Lift. <laughs> From on high, we rain dead. Sure. Alright, we just gotta kill the floating turret. But we also have to stand under the boss when the turret dies. Whoa, oh, I so we popped his balloon. Eaten. Yeah. Pop the bubble. <laughs> Air stones. Drill. Just wanted to target you, I guess. Okay, I was like, what are you looking at me for, bitch? Goddamn. <laughs> it's definitely scripted because it said you'd oh, still yeah. aggro to you. Interesting looking coffer. No, no this stuff is going to be really no. um, what we need. Maybe the last dungeon will have stuff, but even then it'll be like 250 gear. Gabu, uh, don't stand on the edge of this arena. Oh, look at ah. that. Spike! Spike! Run! Oops. I'm gonna pick these up, then I'm gonna keep going. Okay.
Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, you already got it. Maybe. Oh, not you. See ya. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> um, it's okay. There's Maybe another elevator down. that came down. No, there's already an elevator here. Oh, there is? Yep. It's like a... Yeah. yeah I'm gonna wait for you. Yeah, one makes the other one go down. That's why I, I like that I got those persons. <laughs> just what I want to say. Oh. Yeah. They're going into the company chest. Wait, hold on before we continue. <gasps> Little tiny, <laughs> tiny hogs. Oh, oh my god! What are, oh no, the way they run! Oh my god, they're so cute. Amazing. <laughs> All right, I think this healer is getting fed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't stand on the outside of this year yeah. either. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at the tiny hogs. <laughs> Hog break. I can silence that. Oh, that's awful. Sneeze. Silencing a sneeze. <laughs> no! That's pretty good. Just like that. Alright, big oh. fan guy. Oh. If I remember right, he's going to do a lot of knockbacks. So you want to oh, get knocked what these things are for. into that gate. Okay. But also, if you have a marker, get away from that safe zone. Because okay. it'll drop a tornado. It'll basically make it unsafe. Yeah. This is not quite. Ow. Yeah, I'm just staying here until I get a marker. I'm able I to get him really from a distance. It time. It's on high. Yeah, I on high is a knockback. On low is a tank buster. Yeah, the oh, tank has or the, the uh, has a marker. Yeah, so that'll break the. No, that'll just make the it not safe to get knocked back. Mm. Oh, he's swift casting. Uh, yeah, I had to take that. Okay. Oh, it's on oh, sapphire. Okay, 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 okay. Running over here. And I think yep. he's gonna cast on high next. Yep, on high. Oh, I yeah. See. Oh, and I got another marker on me? What the hell? Okay. Oh. oh. So wait, uh, okay. I guess okay. that's just... That's unfair. You get knocked back, and then you run. Got it. Okay. So well, it forcibly makes one of those gates not safe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was sort of conflicted. Yeah, that's... I forgot it did that. That's fun. <laughs> Alright. This area. I was wondering why the healer wouldn't get in the run... We want to kill the airship over here. War balloon. Target it. There we go. Die! <laughs> it's just going to keep dropping ads. It's dead. Okay. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I drilled it and it like took <laughs> more than half its health. You popped it. <laughs> I did pop the balloon. Oh, we need the airstone. Now for the cool part. Yeah, the treasure coffer. There's a sling bracelet. Uh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Ooh. We all get our own little individual <laughs> thing to stand on. Alright, now there's gonna be two. One on the right, one on the left. Okay, I'll pop the one on the right or I'll, I'll work on left. that one. And is there any more than that? No, that'll be it. Okay. Uh 
So I guess it's coming. Okay, I'll help you with this one, I suppose. Yeah. Since. All right, okay. ours is down. Pop. All right, bring me a synchrono. Okay. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> I love doing that when it doesn't matter. When they keep casting those fast spells like Arrow, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> right. just silencing it. <laughs> Time for a drill. Oh, we might want to silence. Oh, it. and silence. Yeah, I did. Probably should have saved it. <laughs> Maybe. It's a, it's twenty three seconds. It's not that big of a cooldown. Yeah. It's just like a wind oh, gym. A new boss theme too. I forgot they changed the boss theme. It's so good. Sounds good. I forgot to eat before this. Oh, well. <laughs> Tried. It definitely would have been good. Start off big. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I forgot how this fight worked. Oh boy. <laughs> I just know there's gonna be a lot of AoEs on everyone. I have no idea. Birds coming down to bite us. Yeah, we can't target him, right? No. They're just circling just around. Just gonna stay in the bubble to mitigate. Oh. Oh. Stack on Sapphire. Get on me, boys. Arrow three. Drill. And summon Garuda. Oh, okay, cool. I, I can't stop about, that one. Uh, this whole Garuda thing. <laughs> Hi, Garuda. You know, just summon her. Oh, and she um, doesn't leave, too. So, do we focus her? No, we can't target her. Oh, we, we can't, can't target, target her. her. Okay, okay, okay. Never She's mind. here to make her lives harder. That's fine. <laughs> Gunslinger! Swordmaster! Gunslinger! <laughs> okay, get on me, boys. Sure. Yeah, go for it. Big shot! We <laughs> get the second Garuda. Huh. <laughs> Fuck it. <sighs> Big shot! Wow, that was an elk. That's that. That's yeah. those are elk noises. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, bo Pepsi man. Oh, Don't give me the hug. <laughs> Give us the hoglets. Wait, what? The minions. Oh, in the treasure coffer? Oh. Uh, I nothing. think it does drop from here. <laughs> Actually, I want to look it up. 
Let's see where the hoglets come from. Yeah. Because we get a cutscene. Hey, up and out. What happened? So, oh, what was the reason? <laughs> so I don't, don't understand you. <laughs> Whatever the Asians and the warriors of darkness were planning has come to naught. This is the traction, huh? We should not tarry. The knights have secured our path to safety. Well, well. Yeah. What do we have here? Can't find it. You'd better not have killed the primal without us. <laughs> oh, oh. Who is this? Who uh. is that? I look forward to these people not being shitheads. <laughs> you. Wait, I know you. Still walking, I see. All right. Sworn my aim was true. Just what is your game? Leading us a long way so these fools could step in and claim our prize. I wonder who that is. Mm. I wonder who the oh fuck that God. is. <laughs> no. I wonder. Who the fuck is that, huh? Oh. Cover in his mouth. Oh my God. We arrived at the appointed hour. It was they who asked. That sounds like he was uh. purposely sabotaging them. It is hopeless. Mm -hmm. So maybe. Hmm. Ah, oh, I'm gonna eat you this cat girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Know that I will happily make it quicker for you if you just stand still. Hmm. <laughs> Enough, Jerumal. We wouldn't want to upset the man in white with any unnecessary bloodshed, now would we? You've been awfully busy since we were kind enough to spare your lives. He's got a Draco Malfoy way of speaking, honestly. <laughs> What's going on, oh, Potter? No. Well, you were idly consorting with the Asians, you mean? Seven hells. What could he possibly hope to achieve? He's got, he's got the, like, the really hard <laughs> peas. Should I explain it to you? Very well. Consider it a reward of sorts for beating us here. You know the tale of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, I take it. Of the great sundering and the reflections it created. Mm -hmm. Across ten and three they were divided. Reflections of the source, each possessed of shards of light and dark. Just so. One of those reflections, the one nearest to the source, is our home. And we were the heroes blessed with her light. But not all worlds hold light and dark in equal measure. In ours, the power of light was greater by far. So the Asians who once threatened our home were no match. And they fell before us, one after another, till none were left. Victory, we thought. And then came the light. A flood of pure, blinding radiance, annihilating shadow and color and life itself. Ere long, it will consume our world, leaving naught in its wake but blank perfection. <laughs> that, that cannot be. Do you honestly expect us to believe such a story? Believe what you like. But it has happened before, on a world far removed from ours. The 13th was swallowed by the dark and transformed into what you call the void. Unchallenged light would condemn us to a similar fate. And so we joined hands with our former enemies and with their aid came here to the source. But there is but one way to restore the balance and save our home. Liada. 
calamitous destruction with the power to break down the barriers between planes and see our worlds rejoined. You would doom our world to save your own? What would even become of us? Of you? Enough. I tire of talking. You know our cause. You know what is at stake. We are prepared to do whatever it takes. Are you? <laughs> hmm. Spoop. Yeah, thought so. <clears throat> so, uh, who could this person be? <laughs> Ooh, I wonder. You have no friends here. Also, I like how they left after saying we'll do whatever it takes, and they're like, peace, peace. <laughs> yeah, we'll do whatever it takes, but uh, we don't need to do that right now. So, just based on that interaction, uh, <laughs> and <they're> just, you know, <laughs> um, I feel like uh, Uriange is meddling with them. Yeah, a little. He's, they even just accused him of leading them down a slower path. Yeah. And he stopped them from hurting us, so. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Maybe it's like a double double cross. I don't fucking know. Triple cross. It's yeah. hard to say with this game. <laughs> That's the vibe I get. <laughs> oh, I got a new card. All right. Tozel who a toddle. Yeah. Got to wait for them to change color. Oh. Oh, right, it takes time. 6 hours. This is from the noise. How was that? It was an Ari mom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just heard it right in my fucking ear. It was just Chrono. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Plus Mark yeah. Quest. Yeah. Ooh, is this is this what I think Fruit it is? Notice firmament. Yep, that yes. is Ishgard crafting. I will be doing that tonight. Crafting? The it's the um restoration or whatever. Yes. The thing where you, you get where uh, Delta got me the sheet mount. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So uh. Yeah, probably gonna get that started tonight. So wait a minute. So what what does that entail? Crafting. It's just crafting. Yes, and then you get rewards for crafting Ishgard items. Okay. Was there a different quest that's similar for other cities, or is this like the first one? Oh no, this is entirely brand new. Okay. Uh, which because right I've got uh, the broom, right but yeah, it's oh. <laughs> the broom is for the close. firmament. Oh yeah, I was just gonna. Do we just need to turn that in, or is that a, a whole quest line? It's a whole quest line. <laughs> also, if you remember, uh, Delta was mentioning how um, you know you were saying you thought it, it might be like a new place for homes. Yeah. So. Oh, it is. It Except is. we just have to build it first. Right. <laughs> Where things can get put into the game. It's, it's, it's a matter of like, when is that going to happen, I guess, for real. Yeah, it's so each server has its own progress and progress oh. is um, made whenever people turn in items. It's it's actually legitimately progressing. Yeah, wow, yeah it's uh, world building. A long time. Mm. It's, and it's been up for a good while. Oh, yeah, it's been out since like 5.1. Oh, shit. We're thinking it might be done by 6.0, but we're hmm. not sure. It just depends on progress, right? Yeah. Does that mean all the mounts and stuff like that are probably not going to be accessible once it's done being made? No, they probably will be. I hope so. They told me you had departed for Zelfatol while I was still abed. Actually, I don't know. I hope so. Thank you. Yeah, kind of wonder. Maybe you can still turn in items, but they won't be needed. 
Mm -hmm. But they'll mm -hmm. keep it in for gameplay purpose. I would hope so. Because that sucks. Yeah. As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Asians. But to save another world? I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first. But it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alize. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scion's stead. Is that recorded somewhere else? Hmm. The warriors of that line sounded like it was in a different area. Possible. Awesome. Like there was like no uh, filters yeah, on that. Yeah, I could yes, hear that. Exactly. Forgive me, but if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? To prompt an escalation, to deepen the beast tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. And lest we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. Power answered with greater power. Death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation, and the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Yet that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods had failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. We cannot let that happen. It should come as no surprise. But Alize and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Sir Emmerich. As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asians' dealings with my father. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. Let us consult with Orianja then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, you gonna say something in the background, girl? To accompany you, brother. <laughs> and before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. But Alize, you You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Wait a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> new outfit time. Until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. It matches him. She'll look like twinsies. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> oh my god.
Oh my god, hi. <laughs> Hello? Actually, looks different. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Easy to have the outfit, actually. <laughs> now we won't get confused. <laughs> oh no! The ice skates. Did they give her booster shoes to make her taller? She always wears those shoes, though, right? Yeah. Yes, but like, <laughs> it, it, they have like blades on them now. Praise the twelve, she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of making us wear matching clothes. Time the studio when that girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered, Sister, please, she was not my... <laughs> <laughs> we did not have this conversation before of the warrior of light. Oh boy, she got hit on by a girl thinking she was going after Alpha No. I guess that's a... Uh... Where uh, Kryle said, like, oh, Alpha No, just same old Alpha No, just like he was back at school, talking about yep. uh, your Stola being naked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Been meaning to ask about the carriage. Sure. It so fortuitously arrived to spirit us away from Old Da after the banquet. Hmm. Yeah, she helped us get out of old uh, that one point. Oh no. Are we going where I think we're going? The Waking, <laughs> the waking Sands. Yep. Because Orion J can't be anywhere else, could he? Couldn't come to us. Hey, you're like, and you're out of tickets. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I guess we'll just teleport. Everybody like rush through the door. <laughs> My God, <laughs> a dragon, some sort of Kieran and a motorcycle, <laughs> just crash through the front entrance. <laughs> My word, was that you upstairs? Oh <laughs> I like how he has goggles, so we can't even compare eye color. <sighs> From yeah, the guy we saw. His hair is covered too. So we can't see hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just fully mystery. We can tell the hair color from facial hair, and that's about it. Yep. Not to mention the marking is on his cheek. So he has that covered as yeah. well. Yeah. Mm. 
there anything else you would like to say? Human wrath, normally rather more verbose. She's keeping it to herself as well. Hmm. I thought the cat was going to be out of the bag like immediately. I was going to be like, damn, <laughs> that was quick. So like, uh, why did I see you talking with an Asian in the library that one time? <laughs> what does he have to say? We shall speak it on. I pray that you attend to Master Elf. No, Mr. Sally say. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to say. She could have told us back in fucking Ishgard. It's like, hey, by the way, um, Orion J might be working with the Asians. Just a heads up. So what is the... Uh, what is this person's quest? Ah, uh, Seeds of Change. Nope, not doing that. Uh, I think that's gardening yeah which might help with our plot of land now yeah but you don't need to do that to a mock gardening yeah cocoa puffs <laughs> this is that person's <laughs> name right cuckoo for cocoa puffs do they still say that on commercials I don't know mm -hmm. I don't even know if they advertise that on TV it's just part of the brand everybody knows it by now Talk to him around the corner. For me, my Emmerich is standing on the box and he just raised a sword like, no. <laughs> my Tifa's sitting on a bag right next to him <laughs> for me. He's got like a bobblehead sized head. He got, he's kind of chibi almost. Yeah, compared to Tifa, he looks like bigger but also more bobble sized. Yeah, he, he looks like a chibi. Going here often though. Alpha, my friend. <laughs> oh man, this is so much easier now that you can fly. <laughs> oh, found him. Oh. Oh, kaboldling. Co <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God. <laughs> Runs away. Uh. Sound like a choking pug. <laughs> down here now. Please. Oh, down here. He's so tiny. Did he does keep running away even though he wants to talk? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Give him a voice. <laughs> Maybe it will make him sound like a gremlin. This was a stupid plan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> you were smaller than my hand. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Oh, 
We've got a fine work, Sions. <laughs> Time to kill him. No, leave him alone. Don't steal me crystals, will you? <laughs> Gabu. I want to give him a little cuddle. <laughs> oh. It's all not our heads. <laughs> I want to protect Gabu. So <laughs> small. Do you have to fight Titan again? Or at least some person summoning Titan? Bunch of crystals. There's a guy left to say. But they were here. Heaps and heaps and heaps of crystals. Uh-oh. Mm.
Now there's the two crystals, just two. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jesus. It's close. This place does have two fates that just go back and forth, though. Wait a minute, what? Shit! Did you get lost? Is this... I gotta zoom in on the map. Come here. Ah. <laughs> it's a tiny little turn. Yeah, it is. Very, I think I got lost here last time. I think, yeah, if you, I was using the mini map and I like had to use the uh, actual pop-up map to see clearly. made me love this child and then you break my heart how dare you game mm -hmm.
My boy took up summoning. Mm hmm. Carbon's fucking a buck. Mm hmm. Boy. Hmm. Just leave the carbuncle behind, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you can always resummon it. That's yeah, fine. Sure, what could go fucking wrong? Mm -hmm. Hey, yay. All right, so tighten the navel hard. Yep. Which we've done before, or yes. no? That's interesting. It's the same fight as before. Although, so you know how fights have that quest dialogue that shows up in the middle of the screen? Mm-hmm. It's going to be uh, different this time. The navel hard, right? Yes. Yeah, there it the is. The fight's going to be the same, it's just the dialogue that's different. Yeah, and I think the music might be different, too. Strange. That's okay. self all. Well, shit. Oh no, I readied up for it. Okay, good. I didn't cancel out of it though. I did. Oh, you know what? I. Wait a minute. Only if you do it three times. I don't. Hang on. I don't have that one selected. Oh, it's on a different page for fuck's sake. If you hit clear selection, it'll get rid of it. Yeah, I, I just did that. Uh, yes, God damn it. I know, I know what you're talking about. I, I was on the page, I was making sure nothing was clicked, and usually it doesn't let me click another one for whatever reason. If you hit, it works like that for roulettes. Yeah. Not individual. Yeah. Whoops. Well, thankfully, well, hopefully we, we don't get penalized for that. If you only, only if you do it three times in a day. Okay. So let's strike one. Yep. Yeah. Strike one today. Yeah, we didn't uh, leave in the middle of a mission, which is, I would think, much worse. It's At least the they can re queue and fill those slots. Counts for everybody, I think, because like even I got a notification about the penalty. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll help. What I'm saying is, like, as far as like what a player could do, leaving after queuing up is different than like actually starting the mission, yeah, that's why getting in there strikes. and then leaving. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to summon Titan right now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look behind us. Yeah, I saw them. Helpless baby and the fat chocobo. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's what's going on. I had two of the same emotes. is dead or asleep. Dead.
still don't get why I did it, but uh, yeah, breathy noise. <laughs> 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 He's watching me. <laughs> Tilt. <laughs> so I don't know where. <laughs> oh. There we go. There you go. Huh? It was your revival go. that we were counting on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the like, oh he's alive. Okay, now we can start. Alright, Tate, you're my fucking enemy and I hate you. Everybody be fast for a quick Looks like a... Oh yeah, the dialogue is different. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh. oh no! It's like the manifestation of the oh, the tiny no. lad. Bro, this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Yep. Oh shit, oh yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Go ahead to myself here, because I forgot how that worked. Excuse me. Oh god. Uh. Are you getting... Oh ah. yeah. The rock. So now we're gonna get you out of there. So you don't insta die or something. Oh, did you get. I got. As soon as I was. Oh. Crackles, I got yeeted off. That was pretty unfair. So you got stun locked into it. That sucks. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very unfair. Oh, wake up. Oh, no. Yeah. This is one of those fights that they don't allow you to come back. Yeah, this is a one time thing. Sorry. Again, it, I mean, it's fine, whatever. Wake up, wake up, why, 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 also. Yeah, he just manifested. I figured it, the timing on his summoning seemed a little suspicious. God damn it. But yeah, that's pretty, that's a pretty bullshit thing. Like, there's literally nothing that, um... Yeah, it was because they done. broke you out too fast. Yeah. Which yeah. is not even anybody's fault, really, because that, that was just yeah. bad timing, but, uh... Yeah, because I started breaking you out before that a little, uh, thing popped yeah, up. Yeah, so that was just unfair. Oh, this hopefully it doesn't happen again for this person. Yeah. No. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting till he does this move, yeah. Oh, somebody got What? Oh, somebody else got knocked off. That was, uh... That was healer. <laughs> Sucks. Ah, uh, sure. Might as well. Fuck you! Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> Get to the other healer for staying alive and keeping me alive. Treasure coffer. Oh, yeah. Guillotine of crags. Guess we go back to Camp Overlook. Yeah. 
I hate how much I know these goddamn mines. <laughs> I had to go here so many times for my Realm Reborn Relic. Ugh. Mm. This and the East Shroud are probably the worst zones in this game. Uh, that's fair. Maybe. Yeah, I've got a close up of the map now, so. Or Babu Gabu came to for us to help him and his parents, but yeah. didn't get their time. Sad. Damn. Damn. I, mm. guy like that. I have to make something tiny. <sighs> Can't have nice things? Nope. There. Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good, but alas. quiet out here the stars spread out before us beckoning across time and space dawn may burnish even the darkest night how bitterly beautiful those words i should be stronger for all my experiences yet my heart aches more than ever I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness, I was disappointed. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. Nevertheless, I had to believe he had good reason. I was determined to uncover the whole truth of the calamity and, perhaps in so doing, find my own purpose in this sea of chaos. My travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship. 
whose lives I could not save. I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled grandfather's words to my father years ago before he left Charlayan behind forever. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. We have to try, do we not? Of course it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the warriors of darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Urien Mazir. Oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Usually is. <laughs> Mayhap you could no, I'm really not. <laughs> How many hours do you have to... You know, do we talk about Estenian Yasseo or Sir Emmerich or Alphano? Hmm. Let's talk about Sir Emmerich. He is quite a man, the Lord Commander. I shall have to thank him for his kindness. Truth be told, I was rather taken aback by it all. Given Ishkard's famous love of foreigners, I was half expecting the Kyrugians to berate me for bleeding. But I've never heard an unkind word. Everyone there seemed relatively open and friendly, in fact. Thanks in no small part to your tireless efforts, I suspect. The hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, warrior of light. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. For the sake of those we hold dear. To what end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? Is it the narrator's voice then? The masked man? Maybe, Maybe yeah. Has its purpose. Even this. Well, what is it? The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Alas. Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Well, that's easy for him to say. It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thy... This is absolutely Orion, Jay. <laughs> greater difficulties at hand. Want to add more syllables to your words there? <laughs> For see, are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke your the speech. ardor belongs to the Asian <laughs> alone. With thine own hand, strike down thine enemy. The so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all-too-delicate balance of this realm 
plunging her straightways into chaos. <laughs> it's one of the best voices in this game today. It's that it's not Orion J, right? It's, mm -hmm. <laughs> Conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher and a creed I hold close to my heart. Yes. Oh, yeah, the other guy. I actually like his voice. Yeah. He emotes. Actually, I think we talked about it before. I think he was like voice in game, or he. Yeah, he's like an actor. He's not like a voice actor. Draw him out. Because he sounds straight out of Game of Thrones. Yeah. It shall be done. I mean, they couldn't have made it more obvious now, more than ever, that, you know, who he is. Here we go. Can we get you know, a mask for no reason? I mean, what him good a creed one cannot uphold. talking about his friends and what such a... hurt soothed. What lives saved. Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Linfilia, my friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Full deeply though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. As Moonbreeder remains. Well, we didn't even attempt to hide it anymore, really. So too <laughs> shall I. <laughs> Just basically, pretty true. Do you get it? Do you know what you want? Do you know who it is? <laughs> I don't know. I guess they were like, yeah, it's we've, we've hinted at it enough. There's no point in Game of Thrones, Baratheon's bastard. I don't know who these the characters are, but I guess for the people who do, they might get that one. Nero? From what? Not from Devil May Cry, no. Or Nero from Game of Thrones. Uh, Chocula, no! Oh, back oh, here. Right here. That's little Goo Boo. Gabu. Gabu. Google this big creature. <laughs> the joke was Orion J was Nero. <laughs> gotcha. It's gotta be Nero. He doesn't have a thing on his head, but he's definitely him. Wait a 
my shit, I guess. Oh, waking sands. <sighs> really? Oh my god. Of course. Speak to totally not suspicious man. <laughs> oh, my God, the rattle pilot. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Is this something? If you're sitting down, a man in black robes. Like, how did Orion J find out if we're just now getting this info? Yeah. Other than him just knowing what the fuck's going on. <clears throat> Let's not tell the Warrior of Light, though. No. Let's just... What's gotten into her? <laughs> it's twice that we've seen Orion J's aid and twice she's treated him as if he was a stranger. 
practically a member of the family. Ugh. <laughs> Now I get to get a little Alamigo, which is a different place. Wait a minute, what? One reporter, party members? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> You're already teleporting. Like, I was almost done teleporting when it told me that you wouldn't be able to accept it. It looks like it's in inside. inside. Let's see. This guy right here up here. There's a few people down here too. Oh. Gotcha. At least it can fly. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah. Man, my allergies have also been acting up. It's horrible. I I pretty much have them really bad during spring and then they just sort of linger throughout uh, summer and fall off and on. It sucks. Uh, there he is. It's pretty much taught me to just start holding in my sneezes because I, I end up sneezing so much that it's like, it's just frustrating and uh, I hate it. Mm -hmm. Don't want to loosen anything up. I, I mean that, but also just like it's uncomfortable to sneeze so frequently. Like, when it's normal, without allergies, it's just like, oh, okay, it's a bit of relief. Clear in, in your system. Yeah. But then, mm -hmm. like, when it's allergies, it's just like, it's hard, almost hard on your body to just, like, keep fucking sneezing constantly. Yeah. Gundabald, he looks like the fucking Witcher at first <laughs> glance. It's me! No! Gundabald! Oh my god! <laughs> Because I just saw white hair and like the type of armor. I don't know why you do this. Why you gotta be like this? <laughs> okay. Going towards corn? Uh, yeah. I don't think we have to do the dungeon. I think we need to talk to him and then it unlocks the duty finder or something like that, possibly. No, I don't remember seeing it. Maybe we're just meeting someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. You were also sniffling from uh, Gabu's story. I think I was just before you were sneezing. Was sad, though. I was sad. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's this guy with a mask? Can we see a man grabbing for a mask in one cutscene? Twenty years ago, Alamigo, our home, was claimed by the Galian Empire. Hey, um, whose uh, lance is that? In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, so it's just another. <laughs> When confronted with our failure, we fled. Not a day goes by that I do not think of those we left behind. Think of them and feel ashamed. And I know each and every one of you feels the same. Nice butt shot right there. What the fuck? It was like <laughs> half the frame. <laughs> Till their backs gave in and their breath gave out. 
building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. We abandon them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country. Or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his home. We abandon them, the meek and powerless, to bow and scrape when the Galleons pass, to sully themselves that they might live to see another day of misery. The Black Wolf may be dead, but a new Imperial Viceroy reigns in Alamigo now. A beast, not a fraction as merciful. You all know the Eorzean Alliance will do not to oppose him. For all their promises and platitudes, they will not act if there's no profit in it. Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight. They have imprisoned us. Wait, did you drop out of Realm Reborn? Because you will not shut the fuck up. <laughs> but no more. Blood demands blood. And the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our land. I promise you, for we have a power within us, my friends. A power befitting our pride, our righteousness. Only join us, and we shall grant you the means to unleash it. And together, we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Abania once more. Watch the ball, ball man clapping. The way his head moves. <laughs> like rocks. Woo! Yeah. A power befitting their pride. Not at all ominous, that. Wait, is that... Oh, let's see what we got here. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Well, well, this is quite the surprise. If you see what I see, if you feel... <laughs> oh, he's still going on. Fuck. Again, straight out of fucking Realm Reborn or something. <laughs> is he, like, is he related to, uh, Garlemond or whatever? Might as well be. Why does my enemy still yet stand? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. The masks. <laughs> yeah, the masks. It's not as if I'm making you all you wear one. Mine only covers half my face. It's a completely different. Mm-hmm. Anyway, don't let's just forget about that.
No, I trust you two more than other people. <laughs> Where's the sister doing all this? Was she, was she present for that little combo? Nope. She's not here. Food is a reward. More spaghetti. <laughs> Somebody touching my spaghetti. Is this inside yeah. the mountain? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> How would you? Yeah, I don't know. It's so damn dark. There you are. Excuse me, there's another person here. Target them. Christ. <laughs> Guess I wasn't looking the right way. There's a sack of gill. Don't mind the gun blade. <laughs> I have to talk to Alba now. Oh. Hang on, that's a second. Wait, while wearing the weapon's tunic and slops. Oh. Really? We gotta wear that armor that I've been holding on to this entire time? They just gave you some. <laughs> oh, they gave me more? Hang on. Oh my god. Cool. Let's just hope they don't notice the gun blade. <laughs> I have other weapon shepherd tunic and weapon. Oh, yeah. And I can't sell or get rid of those. <laughs> They've been in my um, saddlebag this entire time. I guess it's a weathered shepherd's tunic, right? Yes. It's the one we have equipped. Oh. Um. Well, I have the yeah weathered shepherd tunic, weathered shepherd slops, but also in my saddlebag oh, from so earlier in the campaign, weathered shepherd tunic and weathered shepherd slops. I hope they don't it's from much earlier on. Right? Yeah, I got a giant gun on my back, too. Or the spear. That takes up my entire body. He's got one as well. A long way around. My thanks, comrades. Comrades. <laughs> you must be the esteemed adventurers of whom I've heard so much. I understand you have taken an interest in our cause. A great interest, you might say. Your words have certainly made quite an impression on my friend and I. The Resistance has long, and some would say wisely, avoided open engagements with the Garleans. But you and yours seem confident against the world in arms. I can only assume My spear's you almost the same as his. So Why, one might even think you were planning to summon a primal. Because that would do much to explain the sizable shipment of crystals you recently received from your smuggler friends, whom our Ishgardian allies have since detained, lest you wonder. Why'd we even meet in these clothes? <laughs> 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 we were just going to call them out, right? I don't know. Famous scions of the seventh dawn. I should have known better than to think I could conceal the truth from you, Lot. You are right. I am not the name just changed as soon as he said I'm not the Griffin. <laughs> and it was at his BS that we procured those crystals. Mm hmm You are wrong, however, if 
you think that we procured them to summon a primal, we use them to reach an accord with the Amalja. In exchange for crystals to summon their god, they will aid us in the fight for Alamegan liberation. You've got to be joking. Have you gone completely mad? When people find out you helped the Lizardmen summon Ifrit, they'll turn on the resistance. Alamigo will never be free. This isn't a fairy tale, girl. We don't have the luxury to play at being honorable heroes. It's because the likes of you wouldn't sully your saintly hands that Alamigo's been under the yoke for the past 20 years. But the Griffin won't stand for it, and neither will we. We're ready to do whatever it takes. What proof do you have of this arrangement with the Amalja? What? Aside from a lack of crystals? None. But the beastmen have a great big pile of the things if you fancy looking. You might want to hurry, though. It'll not be long before they summon their god. Search our camp if you don't believe me. We have naught to hide. If there is a cache to be found, Eder and I will find it. Then let us be off. Are you perchance the warrior of light? <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> what? What? Could be me not saying a single word this whole time. so because you saved them because you showed them that one brave man can make a difference you saved me too once helped a friend over in quarry mill make some medicine i needed but that was a lifetime ago on behalf of my brothers and sisters i thank you you gave us hope where there was none courage and strength when all was lost we shall not squander your gift I know that look, Eda, and I do not like it. You cannot seriously be contemplating taking up arms with that band of cutthroats. I... I just... If the Griffin and his men have their way, it is only a matter of time before the situation in Alamigo comes to a head. Your homeland's future teeters on a knife edge, and any reckless action, however small, could have irrevocable consequences. Step away for a moment. You mustn't lose Kay. sight of that, Eda. When the time comes, we must all make our choices, but we must do so in full possession of the facts. Now, let us away. There is work to be done. Pull the gun plate out. <laughs> nope. All right. Um, the Lagot Lagot Cordon Blue. Orchestrian rolls you have sitting there? A bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
Uh, these are ones I haven't used. Um, I don't have any of my uh, in room or anything like that. Oh, if you use just, them, they just add it to your list. Oh, you just use them. Yeah, you use them in like general, metal, and then it adds it to your oh. orchestra roll list. Okay, that is better than me taking up space. I think it's. I can't use. I can't use. Oh, I think. Oh wait, let me get out of the saddle bag. Yeah. There we go. And I think for keyboard, it's either O or Control O to access your orchestrion list. Okay. Just breaking all these pieces of paper. Just stop breaking things on my head. <laughs> Just got an achievement. Freaking music. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that achievement gives you even more music. I do have one extra, though. Shattered, shattered orchestra and roll. That might be from PvP. Or... What is shattered? It's so familiar. Shattered. Mm. Oh, Shattered. It's the Circus Tower battle theme. Okay. From uh, the Crystal Raids. Crystal Tower Raid. Hmm. Might be worth a few gil on the market board. Possibly. Probably not a lot. Companion, recap. Can I level them up? I don't have any history. He hasn't done much. Does he start a new cutscene? I haven't accepted it yet. Okay. But I know that this is an important quest. At least from the banner you could tell. Yeah. It's got like a picture on there. Don't shoot Alpha. No yeah. Just see if he's looking. He seems... <laughs> I will kill myself in protest. Put some gear on. Put your gear on, Alpha. No. Looks like we are 11 quests away. Nice. God, what was that? So upset. Damn, I don't think I've ever heard that. <laughs> I know that this one's good. <laughs> Which one is that? My fume. Yeah. It's my fume. Ciao. Oh, fume. Having fun? Oh, can I get out of the sap finally? Sure. Yes. <laughs> it 
<laughs> My face. <laughs> Surprised. <laughs> My surprise is much more happy. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! That's my surprise. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking air quotes. <laughs> look, look at the sassy, like, body <laughs> language <laughs> for me. Oh, damn. Body, Air but... <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Anyway. <laughs> Air quotes. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't taken the one life of the world yet. One world. Oh, I see. Okay, I gotta get my food then. <laughs> okay. Get into it. Okay. Wasn't sure if I was going to go into a cutscene when you left. Thanks for waiting. Mm hmm. <laughs> also, I, I see who's in the main view of that. Oh, what? You mean the masked quest. man? The ma right. The mystery masked man? Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Mystery. What am I doing? You're a mystery SpongeBob. I don't know. I'm following Are you. Doing? You're a mystery SpongeBob. I mean, I'm going to. I'm here. Wait, I I'm going to take it the long the way. <laughs> I guess I didn't read that right. <laughs> thought we were going to the emulsion. Mm. <laughs> God damn it. Now that Thinkred has finally arrived, I'm happy to I accidentally ladies. talked to Thinkred instead of Alize, and he said, Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Does have an eye patch. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> early game. <laughs> I mean, the only mystery resolving around this, or revolving around this, is like how this is going to resolve. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, they're not bothering to try and make it a secret. Nobody else would say remaineth. Remaineth. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Not else remaineth. Oh. Jesus. Yep. Oh, no. That's one of these. No. But it's a good one. Well, oh, we gotta get... Is it... Um, we have to disband? Yeah. No. Um, have fun with that. Bye. <laughs> oh. There don't... There. Oh, also cutscene warning. Yeah. Here we go, I guess. This isn't right. The emulsion would never leave this place so poorly guarded. Not willingly, no. The saviors of Eorzea. Slow as ever. We beat you last time, remember? By the twelve. Will you never learn? Because you know you're right. Mayhap it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen, hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? And frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. But killing the warrior of light, on the other hand, that would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. One life for one world. A fair exchange. Wouldn't you agree? Let 
Lest you forget, you've more than one opponent. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> fucking fun. face. Yeah, I like his face. Got a bit of Hildebrand in there. Yeah. yeah. It's like ebony carbuncle? What is that? Yeah. It's like black. I think it was called the obsidian carbuncle. Ah, I think I heard about that actually. I want it. This bitch. Tell you, Elfino, I am not the girl I once was. My brother was always the clever one, while my talents lay elsewhere. My book wasn't a book at all. It was a fucking sword. If you would I like her. She's cool. Us, to destroy all that we hold dear, then you shall die by my sword. It's word with an S. Like the words that are in books. God. <laughs> God damn it, Colonel. <laughs> um. Her sword was just a word with an S at the beginning. <sighs> They came from a book. Okay. Alright, I should probably go for the healer first. Uh, or the ma magus. Alright, you. Oh, the healer's casting a lot of cure twos. Devout of darkness? I'm just running around. Time to drill the fuck out of you. God. Bye bye. All right, the mages are down. Let's go oh. for the ranger. I know what, to go, what order to go in. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I got a marker on me. That's not good. They stop standing in the bed. Go down, please. I'm just running around because I know he has to be close. It actually is working. <laughs> Me moving. I look over and you're just <laughs> running laps. <laughs> Although, who is reviving them? Because uh, I think it's a little bit unfair. In the text, it says the warriors of darkness call upon the power of the echo. Oh, cool. Oh. Well. Oh. Ah! Oh! It's in my dick. <laughs> it, it really is. Oh my god, it is. Oops. Um. What? Uh. The chains. Okay. The chains. They're gone. God, you snake! You would betray us as well. He that holdeth fast unto his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes, though all the world may call him villain. My path is unchanged. My creed sacrosanct. This I believe with all my heart. But say, warrior of darkness, and speak true, what dost thou believe? That rendering up the souls of thy world in service to the rejoining will grant it salvation? Nay. I wonder who it is. By the twelve, Uriage. <laughs> How did I not know before? I've seen that this gif 
where he takes off the mask, actually. Oh. It was like when a Karen enters a grocery store. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> well. You sweet fool. I was almost willing to believe you had turned against us. I expect a full explanation when this is over. For now, may I assume you have turned your cloak for the last time? <laughs> what is this pose? Thou mayest, my lady. Point my book. <laughs> yeah. It's very extra. Another book, Jojo. man. Yeah, okay, we'll see if you um continue reviving your teammates. Understood. Are you gonna call a meteor down? Limit break on us? Hearken to me. We only have one chance. Channel your ether into my blade that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. I cannot do it alone, but together, together we can defeat them. Lend me your energy. Make ready, they come. Fuck you, healer. There goes half your health. Pardon. And I'll just run around in circles for a second. And that one's dead. Oh, he's invulnerable. Oh, we gotta interact with the... Blade of Light. Yeah. Oh, good. They get the aggro. Yeah, they're going to keep coming back. Bye-bye, healer. God. Fuck you, I guess. And goodbye, ranger. Okay, once I get this guy off my back. There we go. Oh, wait, Ergenji. Um, let me. Yo, yeah, yeah, he's right on top of it, so I can't fucking target it. What the fuck? I can't target the blade. I'm gonna have to click on it manually. Holy shit. Holy shit, I had to click on it. I keep getting interrupted. What the hell? Probably someone not here. I guess. Alright, let's see how much damage this does to the Warrior of Darkness. Oh, that's about half your health. Fuck you, anyway. Can you just say the, the mage's name? I think so. Nightbear or something? Something. Ranger's dead. Okay, Knight's the only one left, aside from the Black Mage. Ah, Warrior of Darkness is on me. Alright, interact one more time. Oh my god! Okay. 
Okay. Okay. They revived it like the worst time for me. Oh. No. Not like this. I did it. Yeah, like they revived the second uh, the last prompt came up for me. Oh god, yeah, I think I just had bad timing on on it too. Damn it! <sighs> Do you have to start over? No, I, I as in like I can't give ether to the fucking blade at the moment because you'll just have to wait for somebody to on me. me. Yeah, somebody will. Alize, are you hurt? Okay. Dizzy, but otherwise fine. Thank you. And there you have it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. <sighs> we are far from finished. Or have you never considered how? We came to this world. Crystals? You mean like the Asians? Just so. As the Asians flee unto the rift twixt plains with crystals of darkness, so did these warriors come hither with crystals of light. Eloquent, as always. I, like the Asians, we too are beyond death. You cannot defeat that which is eternal. <laughs> Wait! Such methods as the Asians employ require the renunciation of the flesh. You... you would have had to... At long last, you see. To save our world, we gave our lives. We were just adventurers trying to make our way. An odd job here, a favor there. We never aspired to be warriors of light. But word of our deeds spread, and soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders and bid us fight for all that was good and right. We fought, and we fought, and we fought, until there was no one left to fight. We won, and now our world is being erased from existence. We did everything right, everything that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this. You of all people should understand. We cannot, we will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction, and now we must save it. Okay. I've died before, Arbut. I'm not afraid to die again. No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind.
those who have known the depth of sorrow and embraced the highest sacrifice. Nonetheless, Master Louis Soir, guide my hand, I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. Quickly, thou must needs invoke the power of thy crystal. Does everybody else get to see what I see? Told you I wasn't crazy. Like this glyph in space. What is this place? Such pain. Such sorrow. Oh my dear children. It can't be. Mother Hydlin. Certain thing with this game is the real Crystal Chronicles. <laughs> it does go into the crystals a lot more than. <laughs> I mean, the first game was about the four crystals, but. Your intercession, we beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. Also, Ross, why does the player always look like they have obviously no idea what the fuck is going on? <laughs> But the player as a person understands what's going on the most. Crystal Chronicles is about buckets, yeah. The buckets and the bucket bitch. God. The one who has to carry the bucket and do nothing else. Didn't think that game could get uh, worse, honestly. Put some shoes on. Minfilia. My toes is a cold. <laughs> My little piggies. Blessed children of the first. The light of your world has grown blinding in its radiance. But it is not yet absolute. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Ron. <laughs> What did he say? I will hide you to your world. I'd love to be the men that fill you her. <sighs> wow. wow. As darkness once did drown another. Now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer. As the Athians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. But for the boon you have granted her, she has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. Your suffering, your sacrifice, your supplications, she has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Bless you. you. I'm sorry. Thank you, Uriange, for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Hydaelyn had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace, granting you strength long sought. And in treating with the Asians, I learnt of a star like unto our own, a doomed world of fallen heroes, 
in whom I glimpsed ourselves. The first. In the four Highlands, the bad dude. Yeah, our world is the bad guy. Concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set light against dark. Yet I knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice. For the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither. There to remain. Mayhap forever. You orchestrated all of this, not to save her, but to send her away. Murder. One life for one world. Such was the bargain, and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal, and at her bidding borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land? Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. You would go alone then? My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf, as would my father be. Your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me, and our gifts to them forming a bond which transcends time and space. Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. Make me proud. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side. Watched as you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Thus do I entrust to you, Kutsumati. I pray you, keep to the path that you may never have need of it. Hear me, servant of Hydaelyn. If you had not placed our trust in you, I would ask it of you. Take us with you. Take us home. We were blind to the truth. So I tell you this, as one fool to another. Light, dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. We made our choice and you see what came of it. So please, forge a different path. Seize a better fate. strange feeling. So many times have I watched you depart. 
my heart filled with worry. And ever did you return to me in triumph. Someday, when I have found a way to free this girl from her sorrow, I promise you I shall repay the favor. He's just gonna pop up here and scare the shit out of her. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Just dance on your corpse. Amazing. Yeah. Our friends were. No. Oh, I should have actually wasn't able to join. <laughs> oh, I was a dialogue, yeah. <laughs> Wind up being burrito? Oh, we hadn't got that yet. Yeah, I guess not. I forgot that we just saw somebody with her. Yeah. Back to the Rising Stones. <sighs> I was trying to administer CPR to my fallen allies via my butt. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. I guess you would just squat on him. Also, do we know what uh, Alice is her... Uh, class is yet yeah, i guess because mm. we I just saw with a sword which i don't i'm pretty sure right now alizé and alphano both fall under arcanist okay but she was using a sword yeah it's her mm -hmm. own like specialized magic i guess okay because I know... <laughs> and those Arcanists gets a third splitting off <laughs> Oh my god. Class. <laughs> well, this whole thing was, was like actually a tank Arcanist to the next job that was coming out. Mm. That would actually be an interesting thing, like a tank version of Arcanist It does split a third way. So healing DPS. Hang on, I'm, I'm blind. You have to go through a little gate. I, it's, oh, the gate opens. I, I hate this area so much. I really do. Because <laughs> you can't, like, fly over in a lot of areas. Yep. Because the ceiling's low. And the arse. But that definitely isn't the last we see of the Warriors of Darkness. Or at least the main guy. Only because Shadowbringers has him in the fucking cutscene. I mean, he should be an ally. I just don't know. Least, so. Maybe. Possibly. Most likely. But, um... Yeah. You just see him as a samurai. Oh, no, that's not... That's supposed to be your character. That... Oh, really? Because he has the same... I guess because he yeah. has the same hair? In the okay. cutscenes, that character is resembling of the Warrior of Light. 
or the player character. Gotcha. Okay. It's just the default here. Hmm. You hear that? Warrior of Darkness, you're fucking you're a basic bitch. <laughs> you're a basic bitch. You're fucking default, man. Oh, it's just the Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna enjoy oh, it. Oh no. It's it's me, Gundabald. Perfect. Immediately, like instinctually. So I guess Ida got outed as being a part of Little Alamigo. Also, I for, just, since oh, go ahead. A long time ago, I, I guess that Ida was like she grew up in Little Alamigo, or something. I think like, she grew oh, up I, I in recognize Alamigo. you. Yeah, like the dude knows her father, and she's like never told anybody. I guess that she grew up here. And now that I've noticed, mm -hmm. I've been doing all these post Tevin Sword quests on Gunbreaker. Still haven't leveled mm -hmm. up. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Yeah, I, I haven't been leveling up since the past. Hopefully, I'm 61 by the time we hit the first Stormblood dungeon. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because I forget where I'm getting my levels from. I guess I did dailies and stuff. Oh, but... yeah, that'll do it. Rising Stones. Oh, you got it. Okay. At least it's not Chrono using return. <laughs> I can't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't... Well, I could free teleport to her anyway. Yeah. So if she was to return somewhere, we... Wait, this is... No, no, no. That's that's a returnable quest. It is Although there might stones. be more plus quests. No, there is oh, a yeah. plus quest here, though. Uh, okay, I guess we'll do it later. Yeah, just queue it up. Oh, it's Nidhogg. Is it like Nidhogg Extreme? Nidhogg Extreme. You just talk to the student, he gives you it. Perfect. Oh, okay, good. Just gonna skip this. Oh, cutscene. and oh. Nidhogg is where you get all the shadowy weapons. Ooh. Ooh. So Nidhogg Extreme is where I want to get my um shadow... Yeah, they're called um, the Horde weapons. Yeah. I would definitely want that for the Dark Knight. I think the Dark Knight one actually looks one of the best. I can worry about that later, though. Yeah. Because I'll be wanting to do that after uh, Stormblood. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Not since. Not since after Lord Odin. And speaking of which, I've got a little wind-up minion for you. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Our voices, our looks. <laughs> Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. Worion Jay, go back to your other outfit that we just saw you in. It's much more interesting, <laughs> if I'm being honest. While I am grateful to Actually, I don't think either is good. I mean, it's better than what he has currently. But, as Papanima rightly said, much has changed since you last stood here. The scions of the Seventh Dawn are not as they once were, nor should we be. Our travels in the north brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people, and their selfless deeds serve to show me that it is not lofty callings that should inform our actions, but our hearts. And I hope that the Scions might continue in this manner, as individuals driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, 
I believe the path she follows to achieve it need not, and should not, be dictated by any single idea. The Queen is bound by a common purpose, free to go whither they will. The idea is not without merit. Very well. I shall resume my research of the primals and the elder gods. Does Kyle ever explain her outfit? I have need of my findings. I don't think so. No. Okay. I, think I think she just has a. She has ears on the outfit. I have nothing against it. I think it's cute. <laughs> I should be glad of your continued assistance. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Maybe Totter like, made it for her. <laughs> well, look, they look sewed on, and that they weren't there originally. <laughs> I'm just wondering. The ears. <laughs> you can actually see the stitchings. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe that's just how it would be made. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. <sighs> for Minfilia's sake. That is, if there are no objections. You will always be welcome here, Kyle. Oriangere, can we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Essenes as before? Also, Furyanje is marking us to black. Desires, I am undeserving of your trust, hmm. having so villainously deceived you all. Now, now, I'll hear no more of that. It would be disrespectful of Minfilia's wishes. She entrusted matters here to us, that we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think she's far better suited to the latter. No? Very well. Then out of love for my lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thunderland to keep an eye on the resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? What will you do, Alize? You know I have no great love for organizations and formalities. That being said, this new approach you propose is wholly objectionable. And we've always got him to keep us from bickering. But I will suffer no titles. I am not here for House Leveille. Nor to walk in grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Well then, Alfie, I, <laughs> for my part, shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. I would not have it any other way, Tataru. You push pencils. <laughs> and we mustn't forget need a date ceramic option well, thank you very much <laughs> which one should <laughs> I choose what will I do nobody's telling me what to do I don't know Dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no, I have to see this. Oh my god. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's like playing one of those Telltale games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, just not saying anything ever. <laughs> just don't, just miss every prompt in the entire game. God. <laughs> ah, indeed. 
Indeed, you do not speak. <laughs> As it should be. Yes, moon breeder. Hmm. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life. I don't think this is uh Orion J. Hmm. The narrative voice is just I don't think I've heard it anywhere else. Unless it is Papalimo. It might be. Oh, fucking trust the little bastards. I would keep it close at hand. Yeah, I think I should hold the fucking weapon of light, right? Really, it didn't trust it to us. No, don't nod at me. That makes me implicit. And like, well, I gotta do it now. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, I, I can't trust a fucking male Lollip, though. It's not happening. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You've seen what's happened. Why does he need it? He needs it for what? The uh, Tub Samari? Yeah, why does he need a little staff? Say. To guard it. Study it? Keep guard it, yeah. Because we, we were guarding it <laughs> pretty heavily, I think. But he was the least walk's disciple. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Don't trust the little fucker, I'm just saying. Hmm. <laughs> you just see him walk right up to the griffin. Hey, I got the staff for you. <laughs> like, oh my god! Are you kidding me? It's been five minutes. It's been five minutes. I, I just asked for it. He gave it to me. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you should literally ask for anything. He will do it. <laughs> He's that manipulatable. Right their masks. Like we give a shit. <laughs> they're hiding their faces from. If they're from a different plane. And they're always in robes anyway. It's not like 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 we spot your robes. Sure. Not your face. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh yeah. It doesn't fucking stop, stop. but does it? <laughs> mm, all according to plan. Should have stabbed them. Yeah. But no, chuck them into the abyss. <clears throat> oh no, shit, fuck. Oh no, shit, fuck. <laughs> After this will be the game final game. stretch into Stormblood. Oh my goodness. What's happening, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, is this a new area? I think that's the is PvP, the PvP? Zone. Yeah, okay. But being used for story. Ooh. Looks something different. Wouldn't you like to be here? <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I 
Oh, good, it's Nero. <laughs> I'm sure he's here for a good reason. Didn't we leave him off on a good note with this guy? What the fuck's happening? Like, ah. Uh, His own know. personal ambition. <laughs> I think he's still mad at Zero, though. Or <sighs> Sid, though. Uh, Even though we saved him, it's like... <sighs> He's like a Vegeta. I think that's less the most accurate description I've heard of him, yeah. He's literally like, the good guys keep letting him go, and he gets softer and softer each time. <laughs> and then eventually, he'll end up being my fucking favorite character for the- that's true. Was this one, <laughs> one of the judge dudes? Yeah, he was the one that was in red armor. In the, uh, A Realm Reborn. Talked to her at the Diamond Forge. That sounds new. Oh, this is going to be great. Is this going to a new area? No, but I think you will still like it. If this is what I think it is. Well, I wonder if they um, fixed that glitch. <laughs> probably, probably not. Also, should we go try I it out? Turn in, should I not turn yeah. in this quest to this lady, this cat lady here? I don't even know what this quest is for. Uh, you probably did something to turn in. I'm just going to test it to see if it works. Um, Don't works. I got in first try. <laughs> well, that's weird. Oh, there it is. You got to go in from the kind of where you walk. Yeah. Mm. Right, back to Mordona. Arriving in style. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good that you can get a good look at the uh, ship over there. Oh, yeah. See, I don't know how you guys are over there. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, I see a dot. Hey, Sapphire. Oh, I can see uh, you from oh, underneath. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh. It's There's Chrono. Here's my head. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, how'd you get in? You're gonna think um... <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Fine. Oh dude. Hmm? No, up, up, up. Where are you? Follow me, Sapphire. Way out here, huh? Yep. Yeah, you gotta fly under the level to get back. There's just like a weird hitbox underneath Mordona. Watch closely. What you... the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, you just so you just like fly right here. It's around right here. Come in from the top. Like, where my motorcycle's spoken up. Okay, cause it sometimes, I think it sometimes looks different. There we go. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Alright. And then you just make your way to the city over this way. <laughs> Christ. This is There's actually a second ground under Mordona. So you could mis dismount there. So yeah, here's um, the rising stones. So yeah, there's some ground you can stand on right around here. That's when you take it this fat moogle and pop it up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, I went too far. Boom! Hi there. <laughs> Amazing. I'm not sure if I can get his head to poke out without a. Uh, he might have already went too far up. 
also, oh, nope, I'm good. Nope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just spin in the center of this room. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that's how you do it. Just make people question what they're seeing. <laughs> this person <laughs> stop for a second. They're like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> they're definitely to having a look. And then you have a dragon poking through the wall over there. I've gone too far. Okay, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> You okay there? I'm waving. <laughs> uh, I can hear that. We might be able to get to Stormblood tonight, depending on how late you guys want to go up. Yeah, let's continue on. I know we're having fun, but... Oh. <laughs> we're on the final... Just to send... oh. <laughs> oh, Let me just double check. There is That's uh, not a regular plus mark. Okay. Yeah, this is the final patch of Heaven's Sword. Mark of Gordon's... Uh, commit. And this is still look around. the pre-trial. Yeah. So much content. What the fuck did I just witness? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Don't worry. <laughs> just a fun little glitch. It doesn't break the game either. It's just fun. I hope they just leave it in. Yeah. They left the housing glitch in, but... Uh-oh. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Who's this group? <laughs> Wait a minute. Tutter. Oh my god. <laughs> she's the big bad. <laughs> <laughs> she's an Asian. Oh god. Is she gonna dress us up? Are we gonna have a cool new outfit? Oh, she's just fucking. Oh my god. She's beating us in the dark. At least it wasn't like the sound effects from Final <laughs> Fantasy VII Remake getting the hand massage. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, they just needed to get my measurements. From heroic head to intrepid toe. <laughs> Why did it hurt so bad? Hand massage, yes. Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Oh, wait, before we go, I want to see if it's here. Did you ever go on YouTube and watch the other ones? I did all of them in my uh, playthrough. I, I save scummed right before, <laughs> just so I could see all the uh, different types. The middle one is absolutely the one you could probably skip. But the one where she hurts you and the one where <laughs> it's pleasurable are definitely worth watching. Did we miss anything? I like the expensive one. That one's the good we one. would not presume to begin without. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, but for what exactly? We all have duties to attend to, Elfino, so you may dispense with the preamble. Thank you, Elise. <laughs> it is the very subject of those duties which compelled me to call this gathering. Though the warriors of darkness no longer pose a threat, Eorzea's many troubles demand no less of our attention. And while I stand by the decision to approach each task as we see fit, I fear our effectiveness will ultimately be diminished should we continue to act in ignorance of each other's efforts. Thus, I propose we elect a successor to Minfilia. Not to serve as a fully-fledged antecedent, perhaps, but as a coordinator of operations. Mmm, thick red. <laughs> <laughs> well, then the decision seems clear. 
It's okay, uh, the warrior light will do it. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect fit for that shit. <laughs> no, it's Papa Lima. <laughs> I did not mean to. That was not my intention. As my tenure as commander of the Crystal Braves comprehensively demonstrated, I lack the qualities required for such an office. I would much prefer to remain as I am now, a soldier in the field, so to speak. Should one of our numbers step forward, must we then constrain some unwilling candidate to take up the position? Shall we get put Orion J? Hmm. Well, based on merit alone. A certain adventurer would be my choice. Well, thank you, Sacred. <laughs> I struggle to balance his dual responsibilities with, let me see, <laughs> slaying primals, thwarting the gatuses, and feeding the orphan poor. <laughs> yeah, I do do a lot of things, you're right. Sacred makes a good point. Any who would wear such a mantle would be bound by its obligations. <gasps> I forgot. Have we not become sufficiently familiar with each other's methods to act without an overseer? At present, I see no cause to so willingly limit one of our number. Hey, give me the cane back, little man. <laughs> oh my goodness, your help! I need some help, Lima! Is that our new leader behind the door? Or... Who is this? Totaru, are you alright? Me? Best cat right here. Better than a collapsed on the floor that I'm worried about. In my opinion. <laughs> God, how did you show her? Please, you have to help her. Kral, a hand if you would. Let us see about closing these wounds. Now, we staunched the bleeding, but it may be a while before you can move about again. Though having seen your wounds, I'm surprised you are still moving at all. Thank you. My message. It was too important to delay. I took the shortest route I could, though I knew it was more heavily patrolled. As you can see, my efforts at evasion were not entirely successful. Now, is this another character to die before the next expansion? Like Moonbreeder? Oh. I'm sorry, Ida. I had good reason. Ah, but I imagine your friends are wondering who this bloody mess of a Mikote is. My name is Minago, and I belong to the Alamegan resistance. I came to warn Ida and Papalimo about one of our leaders. A man who calls himself the Griffin. He's always been dangerous, but he's planning something new. Something reckless. The Griffin, you say? I've heard the name. Rumor has it your man is eager to test his claws. Aye, and on no easy target. He means to assault Belthar's wall from the Alamegan side. But what does the Griffin possibly hope to gain from such an attack? From what I understand, he wants the fires of war to spread to Eorzea. And for that, he needs to control the border with Gridania. So, he means to spark a conflict between the Alliance and the Imperial forces stationed in Alamigo. To have Eorzea's armies aid in the liberation effort, whether they will it or no. His plan is flawed. Even should the Resistance succeed in occupying the wall, they would not be able to hold it. Imperial reinforcements would drive them out within a week. Be that as it may, there is even a chance that this scheme could bring about an escalation in hostilities between Eorzea and the Empire. The Alliance must be informed. Man, the one cool Imperial died already. Whoops. Or is he? Is he? I mean, he did die during, like, a, a special mission and not story quest. ...to the Twelveswood and notify the Elder Seedseer of the danger to Gridania. She would duly call a council of the Alliance leaders, whom you must be ready to receive. Wallets with voices that sound like actual sized humans should be illegal. <laughs> he does sound a little pitched up. Voice in Ishgard. Explain the situation to Sir Emmerich and encourage him to send an envoy. 
Chitaru, Kryo. I leave the care of our injured messenger to you. See that she remains quiescent and her wounds closed. See, he is Thickred. He's he's now has a butt window with his uh, two <laughs> flaps. I believe that covers everything. Let us be about our tasks. I suspect the ill tidings from Girabania will be held as a turning point. The beginning to a bloody end. Fucking trust you. Fucking trust you. <laughs> the business of war was ever conducted with the coin of self-sacrifice. There's too many Lollafells next to this Bakote. <laughs> why? Why? What? Like why? Or like male Lollafell just like fucking horrible? <laughs> like they're so beatable and puntable and and. Ugh. That should have been the real bet to make you old male Lollafell. <laughs> oh no! If that was even possible. <laughs> I think it is. I think you can change your gender. Yeah. Right, because they have that vendor for swapping male female gear. Oh yeah, which is cool. I'm I'm glad that that's a thing in the game, just in case you decide to Fantasia to something completely different. Oh my god! Oh wait, <laughs> before I forget, I need to check something. Come back to the uh, Crystal Forge. Hmm. Where Tataru... Is that where, um... Yeah. Oh, it's here. Okay, yeah. Is there another glitch spot? No, there's, uh, extra little text speak to this person. For Fear Breeder? Your measurements were rather larger than I expected. Um... And no, I shan't tell you which ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that my boobies? Yeah, well. My cockles. <laughs> the cockles of my heart. Oh my god. Let's see. Gorthas. Yeah, foundation. Yes. I got it. Oh. Yeah, you it's good that it alerts me that you're already like saying like you will be you'll be unable to teleport. What about the sub cockles? <laughs> Spread Falcon or Forgotten Night. Uh, click the oh, bless you. There it is. Excuse me. Sir Amberk, we're back. Oh, not Amber. Go on a date with me. <laughs> I mean, that Lucy is fine too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how this other person's also standing on the table. It's just. <laughs> It's such a big table, and it's so low to the ground. Hope they didn't care for all this paperwork. <laughs> I see you put your work. footprints on uh, official documents. Yes, good. <laughs> envoy, envoy. Oh boy, how do you pronounce it? Doesn't matter. I know I saw, I heard you stole us a envoy, but I've heard envoy, especially with all the British yeah, accents. That's right, yeah. Hey, oh, I forgot to get the, uh, the minion from earlier. Yeah, Moonbreeder. Nice. Little late, but whatever. <laughs> She's like long dead. Can't even mourn her properly. Oh god, I forgot the description and the minion guide for that minion. Oh, let's see here. God damn it, Koji. Let's see here. Summon your wind up Moonbreeder minion, destined to die a hero. And live on as a mechanized servitor. Wow. Rude. Or on the log on the so, right. 
when you click on it. Oh, this anatomically accurate representation of Moon Burrito was secretly crafted by none other than Urian J. Immediately following the untimely passing of his beloved companion, what he did with it before it passed to your hands is a tale best left untold. Excuse me. Oh my Excuse god. Excuse me, he fucked it. He fucked it with his fucking elf dick. And we have it now. Fucking wow. He. Jesus Christ. Unloaded into this thing. <laughs> Unloaded into it. Okay. <laughs> Case of judgment. Oh, we can. Yeah, just take the Ethernet outside the city. <clears throat> wow. Sturdy mind. No. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely implied. Fucking <laughs> fucked it. <laughs> oh boy. I guarantee you this thing was drenched. While he was with the fucking warrior of darkness too. Jesus Christ. Christ. Lonely. That's his way of, I guess, you know. That's how he mourns, I guess. God. He moans, he mourns. Oh no! Oh, no! no need for porns. Oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I cannot believe. I cannot believe. I'm glad Sun isn't here. She would find a way to blame me for this. <laughs> it's absolutely the fucking writer. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Holy shit, though. So it is. It's so fucked up. <laughs> Dude. On like several levels. Like immediately. Like it's your dead friend. Died. The second it happened. Oh my god. Orion J. Seriously. God damn. He was pent up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he was probably waiting until <laughs> shit was. <laughs> was de waiting to die down and she fucking died. <laughs> before it died down. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. Anyway, story. Yes, I story. I saw that. <laughs> no. <sighs> well, I was a sim. Goddamn. Hootie who he shot his goo. Jesus. <laughs> We're all delinquents. And he cried boo hoo. <laughs> boo hoo, here comes the goo. <laughs> 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 Crying. <laughs> here cometh the goo. <laughs> Hither and thither. <laughs> oh no. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> Why did they write that? <laughs> I bet it's the translators who did that shit. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Koji Fox is like the head of the translation team. He's God. notorious for shit like that. <laughs> that's, that's Just like completely changing the canon of people's characters from item descriptions. <laughs> made fucking, made, he turned him into a, a fucking desperate, horny asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. <clears throat> More food is a reward. Um. <laughs> okay, he was just like looking at me for a bit. <laughs> Go. Uh, um. Yeah. I suppose I should have. 
just use the etherite, but... Uh, here we go. Yeah, it's near the, um... The, what you call it, guild? The, uh, Conjurer's Guild. The map is showing me the other way? Yeah, I'm oh, yeah, going to this thing. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, there's, there's, that's why I was saying we should have just taken the etherite before I went to the next area. Trusted you. You did. We're here. Next to the silent conjurer yet again. This way, if you play, ah, and the Lim Lamentian party as well. Oh, hello. We haven't seen you two in a while. Hey. I bid you welcome, my friends. As you will by now be aware, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have come into possession of certain intelligence. I see the Warrior of Darkness with a mustache back there. <laughs> Damn it. Don't think I didn't spot that. Is that not so, Master Alphino? Indeed, Elder Seedseer. Our information comes directly also, one guy looks like a sunken eye in the harsh, uh, harsh font. Harsh font, yeah. <laughs> harsh fart. For, yeah. As uh, Ron remembers them. Yeah. He is still not taking a bath. Or those bruises are very deep. <laughs> He's got smudges on his face still. Moustache. At the Battle of Cartano. The combined might of three grand companies labored to contend with the remnants of but a single Imperial Legion. Alone, Gridania would be hard-pressed indeed to hold back the tide, should the Garleans turn their minds from reclamation to invasion. These background soldiers seem a little too... Uh, detailed? That makes any sense? Hmm. Usually they just have a helmet on or something, right? One of those masks, yeah. Regrets for our mm. inaction in the days prior to the calamity. Tis a stain upon our ledger that I would fain remove. This is when I just pull out my gun and go like, okay, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are you two? Or the and the girl as well. Who are you? Elder Seeds here. I do hereby request leave to deploy a defensive force within the borders of Gridania. Ishgar's <laughs> return to the Alliance shall be honored by more than mere ink upon Who am I? Uh, Sir Merc, a knife for you. <laughs> God. God. Aaron <laughs> Gridania, where it doesn't matter. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna be honest, I threw the knife at her, but then it like magnetized your gut for some reason. There's something about you. It's like the worst superpower ever. Like a stomach with a as an attraction to kitchenware. Of my people, I offer you my humble thanks. Gridania welcomes your assistance. It is time we set our contingency plans in motion. Is the alliance agreed? But I guess um in terms of uh lore, they are lancers with the, in the city of the Lancers Guild. I guess. <laughs> You got some satisfied with that answer. And then there's like a arcanist as well, so I guess that's. <laughs> I guess I just saw I saw highlights in the one dude's hair. I was like, well, he's got a little design going on. I can I'll, I'll be able to remember him later. Should I? And its decision to bolster the border's defenses seems eminently practical. Why then, brother, do you scowl so? Turn that frown upside down. I agree that they have chosen the wisest course available. Indeed, the only reasonable one. 
Yet something feels wrong. Right, I'm going to be in perpetual in disgust for, war, for a while, my friends. The <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <desired>? <laughs> Many a for of, the war is doomed to failure. Uh, but I wonder received if an item that I don't think I want anymore. Hmm. Why should you return it, please? <laughs> Feel dirty. Just everybody has a moon burrito minion. Just leaves behind white puddles oh everywhere. God. Oh my god. <laughs> <Kinda. laughs> <laughs> I wanna die. <laughs> There she is. <clears throat> so is he keeping up with his promise to go on a journey with us? The one we made at our date? Yeah. <laughs> I am down. Uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> just hiding in the shadows. <laughs> so awkward. Sorry, I was just. I love her. I was being really sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what I do. I respect that. So. Mm hmm. Revenant's toll. Jeez, they're just making this go back. I guess they're giving us the money through the mission rewards, oh, but... Yeah. <sighs> You're trying to sink. Oh, I just stopped for some reason. <laughs> also, I have the uh, Moon Brita minion with me now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I do like her, and I'm sad that I didn't like get to know her as a character better. <laughs> and like now, this is what. This is her legacy. Oh God. <laughs> it's a fucking cum covered minion. <laughs> anyway. Whoa. Whoa. Gonna get this food. Yeah. yeah. Griffin, Griffin on the wall. I really have an appetite. Oh. This is a good one. Who's the most. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Who's the most sullied minion of all? Jesus God, it's Moon Christ. God damn it, Ryan. <laughs> she God got damn it, Uriah. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seriously. It's like, I didn't fucking do it. The translator did. This is... This... Listen, this Seriously. Didn't say explicitly what he did. <clears throat> yeah. what, else, what else do you think he's doing to it? <laughs> Maybe he just humped it. We're made out. Maybe he, maybe he can't. Maybe he can't complete. God damn. Maybe that's one of his problems. I'm so done. I'm as dry as my speech. I can't produce. Oh my god. Thank god. <laughs> this is now official lore for Ariage. Boo hoo! Here comes the goo. Hither and thither, wherever it do. Oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck. <laughs> Alas, but I can't. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Rion J, are you writing poetry? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> in a dark room, just shoving it back in a drawer. I, I'm researching the primals. That's what you asked me to do, yes? I will say at least it's about Orion J and not anybody else. Because 
<laughs> like, what if it was about Thikrin? God. That would be so fucked up. No. I would not want to think of... No. <sighs> We're like, you know, like a character we enjoy. It would sort of be like, oh, oh god, you're like that, huh? Oh, Thikrin, come on. <laughs> Thikrin, you, know, <laughs> you don't need to do that. <laughs> You like can, you, like you, you can really go out. Fucking Minfilia. Yes, that would be ten times worse, I think, <laughs> because he like halfway raised Minfilia as her bodyguard. Uh, all right, so the <laughs> East Shroud, or <laughs> the East Shroud. <sighs> Can't handle this anymore. <laughs> Why is this game so cursed all of a sudden? How many more cursed minions are there? <laughs> There's, you know what? I, I think that's like a, a, a pattern or something. I can't remember what it was, but I remember just other minions having fucked up things in them as their description. Like, I mean, there's some silly fun things, like, <clears throat> you know, um, questioning, I think, like the coral kitten actually being a coral. What about the dude that was like, he kept talking about the um, Leviathan's oh. member. <laughs> he, like, he, the dude he kept talking about his own member. He's like, he was like, in, he was adamant that they add it to the fucking minion. And they're like, no, no. Like we're not going to do that. I can't remember what it was. The wind up Leviathan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Oh. Is there a market board in Mordona or no? Who is this student? Hawthorne Hot. Okay. But, but. He was over there doing the toasty mope right next to us. Oh my god, there's a nutkin next to Thancred <laughs> in in the Rising Stones. Oh That's amazing. Oh, that was another one. Is Okay, is there a market board in Mordona? No. Because uh, I, oh, I was going to go through the min... Because I was going to go through the minions, because there's one for, like, Thancred, like, I think his um, Heaven Sword version, it was, like, minus his Nutkin or something like that, like, brand, ah, fuck it, I don't, I don't know it off the top of my head. Oh, going to go to Hawthorne, huh? My god. What? I'm going to go to New Gridania, because we have to go to Hawthorne Hut from there, but I'm going to go to the market board just to find what I'm thinking about. Okay. Shit, this worked. <laughs> I'm gonna copy and paste the description of the minion. That Nutkins are infamous for being shy and timid creatures. Shows that his <laughs> this brave beast can comes complete with a pair of iron acorns on him. <laughs> Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Iron. Dress up Thancred. Um, it says, take a walk on Thancred's wild size, <laughs> but with fewer nutkins. Oh. Oh. I can't see uh, the, the whole thing, but... Uh, How much is it? That one is 30,000. Nah. It's a bit much. I could probably get it from Wondrous Trail. Uh, dress up Alice now 120% more discernible from the wind up Alpha Gnome again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's her new outfit. Um, is this, I don't know who this is, but it says wind up Chloe because there is nothing wrong with a fully automated oh. mechanical reconstruction of a young girl of three and ten summers. So that's the cat girl that you get the journal from, the Wondrous Trails. Okay. And they're basically saying there's nothing wrong with having a fully automated mechanical reconstruction of a three year old girl. That's three and ten, so thirteen. Three and ten. Oh, oh thirteen. Yeah. That's, gotcha. That's still, that's still questionable. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was like. I think that I don't know if these are what they originally had in mind. Okay, and I'll free teleport to an e shroud. I'm technically okay. a sprout again. Wait, what? Oh, are you? Oh, because you're on your um, alt account. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> there you are. Out of his Emerson's Spire? I don't I know how to pronounce that. You gotta use voice <laughs> acting. I don't know what to do. Because all these words don't mean anything until you say them out loud. <laughs> Amor sa sa sa. So this is going into the next area? Punt. Punt it. Why? <laughs> because I don't trust him. <laughs> what has he done? <laughs> it's like Among Us logic. Just, uh, the love felt <laughs> sus. Sus. Seeming pretty sus to me. Male Lala kind of sus? Yeah. Yeah. It's like somebody being red. <laughs> In Among Us. I hate Lala's and gnomes. <laughs> Well, most of the female allies are cool. Yeah, it's not all of them. I can't think of like a one that I, that off the top of my head. They're usually like sweet or like really cool. The one I didn't care for too much was the uh, one that was telling us about Nanamo. She was okay. The one that was telling us about yeah, Oh, you Potter. mean the the um the oh. the Harry Potter lady yeah. who reminded me of like a gotcha. But I didn't care for her yeah, personally, she, but she She was kind of a B. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Pippin. Oh yeah, what about Pippin? Yeah, Pippin's a good guy. Pippin's a good boy. <laughs> Papa Sean. <laughs> he will not be punted. Papa Sean for Papa John. You can even pun him. Pizza Pippin. Is is he a tank quest? I yeah, he I think he uses... Yeah, he uses a sword, like his but not a shield. There he is. Ah, Pippin. Fool of a tunk. It's crickets. And no noise. Every once in a while, just these silent cutscenes catch me off guard. I'm like, yeah, I forgot that there's no talking, because there's no music. All has been quiet until that explosion just now. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know who this lady Hilda is. <laughs> Hilda's great. Pippin's just being polite. He's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're a badass, fine. I get it. No, trust me, I get it. Badass Hilda. Your new title. Get me an airship. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, and he's gone. What? Oh. You have the tire on your head. <laughs> ah. Hang on. Hmm? Hello? What are these dudes? Look like one was slapping the other for a second. <laughs> we just stumbled on abuse <laughs> in the middle of the woods. What's going on here? <laughs> just let me fly over the wall. We'll be good. We can't fly yet. We can fly in this area and land on the wall. Right? I mean, it's not canon yet. No! Uh, <laughs> 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 <sighs> throw logic at me. Oh boy. Hmm. This one can give me trouble. Uh oh. Okay. We good with this party setup? Do we have any healer? Clean selection. Bail Sayer's wall. Hang on, let me... It's a one tank, one healer, two TPS, yeah. So it's a normal party. Oh, the eat. Oh, yes. No. There we go. If they're not online, never mind. I was going to okay. try to ask a good healer. <laughs> Is it really that big of an issue? Uh, at some parts. Okay. All right, let's go. This one's requiring 230 item level. <laughs> Sir? Don't shoot the net. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was just I was trying out that move for oh, the first time. <laughs> um, the heated clean shot. Oh, the big flip. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that's cool. I haven't got to use it once because everything's been um, leveled oh, down. Yeah, level sixty. Kill everything in this area. Self do here. Standing here. Hmm? Just this elf man standing over here, staring in this direction. <laughs> oh. Yes, who is this guy? We're gonna mask being shady. Probably a scout. Oh, possibly. Should have scout above his head. So I know who it is. He doesn't want to be talked to. Yeah. Oh, bulldog thing. Ooh, that's a new enemy. Yep. I like seeing new shit and not uh, reskinned or just the same monster with a different name. Yeah. It's nice. It's unfortunately, a lot of that. But to be fair, MMOs. You know, that's just yeah. sort of what happens in MMOs. Yeah. But for uh, new expansions, I feel like it should be. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of new stuff and new expansions. Yeah. Nice suspenders. Alright, right, I'm gonna take this somewhat slow. Okay. Yeah, just. Yeah, I just decided to kill the big guy before we left. Oh my god, you, did you just one shot that? The, the 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 mech? Yeah, did you one shot it? I two shot it. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I did a crit drill oh, and then no. I followed it up with hot shot. Oh, are we not keeping aggro? What's going on? I think healer drew aggro while I wasn't looking. Ah, we'll cover it.
yeah, I think this first area is the roughest. But after mm -hmm. this, it gets it gets better. Aside from the I boss fights. You, then. Oh, they're coming. Fuck you, dog! And again, if you didn't eat, go ahead and eat if you want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got my... Oh! I'm going to bring him to you. Uh-oh, I'm going to get this thing off of them. I can't get the chain off you. No, I mean, I'm getting it off the healer. <laughs> I went for that before me. <laughs> Good call. Tank mindset. Just like, nope, don't want the healer to get fucked. <laughs> oh, when he got the... Nope. <laughs> uh, he... The healer's gonna get it. I got it. No, I mean, the uh, healer's gonna get the door. <laughs> like, they were all right. waiting for us to get it. So, I Ooh. think it's this fight. If you see a debuff on you called Extreme Caution, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. That was the healer. I just followed up, so it wouldn't be on them. All right, well, you're about to die because the healer. Oh, oh my god. Holy. Sorry, the way that happened was kind of funny. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Someone's a patient. Okay, get this one. Oh, I have something on me. Uh, uh, that's a healer job. Okay, okay. Alright, if you get something called Extreme Caution, stop moving. Okay. Although I think that's the next fight. Either way, good to know. <laughs> yes. Beat this fight that's or not, point. good to know. Is this a mount? Yes. Wow. It's, um, nice. it seems like more, uh, traditional in terms of, like, six. Yeah, it's a, like an FF6 Magitek Predator. Magitek. Oh. Okay. Drill, baby, drill. And what else? Oh, great. So this is a mount that drops from a dungeon. It's actually the first level 70 dungeon. I, oh. I've i seen it drop three times, have not got it. Wow. In all the times you've done it, I guess? Oh, yeah, because I've probably done it at least 100 times. I was desperate for this mount, and I never got it. Aww. That sucks. Okay. Yeah, this stuff is two forty-five. Oh, okay. I just saw their message. I've been tank. I've been tanking all day, so muscle memory. Ah, ah. <laughs> so that was just out of habit. <laughs> I'm still judging them for wearing the mentor crown. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> on their <laughs> on their nameplate. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It is a red flag. Yeah, all the crossbow. This is what I need. Kill, kill, kill. All right. How do you like the elevator segments? Oh, yeah, you know. Mm. Oh, my God. And drill. <laughs> I like seeing that big chunk come off. Like giving us the run speed beforehand, anyway. Oh, treasure coffer. Oh god. Oh. God damn you! <laughs> Why? Was it clear prisons? <laughs> yes, and it went to her. Oh my oh, god. 
perfect. You. <laughs> hey, at least you can make glamour prisms. <laughs> yeah. With all of those clear ones. Uh, do they even cost that much on the marketplace? They're pretty cheap. Yeah, that's what I thought. Going in the company. Like 200 seals. Oh, that's not worth that, though. No. Absolutely not. You. <laughs> It, it, it does favor you, I'll say that much. But at least they stack. Fair. So they don't, like, take up space. So you can just even throw them in your chocobo saddlebag or something. Yeah. Drill! I think there's one more set of enemies. Oh, hello. There we go. I might level up from this. I'm assuming that AoE was kind of unavoidable. Oh, yeah. It was stunnable. Ah. This is the dude with extreme caution. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sorry, goddamn. <laughs> it's 147. Oh, yeah. Forgive me. Yeah, it's not that. I mean, it is 143, but that's not that late. Yeah, but I had a long day at work. Yeah. Being back hurty all day. That's. Oh. Uh, yeah. Alright, stop moving. Oh, I'm not. Okay, not even attacking? Or... Yeah, anything will set it off, even auto attacking. Oh, God, stop auto attacking. <laughs> Um, okay, I'll also, so just put your weapon away next time it comes up. And um, it'll do that AoE during extreme caution. I think. But, I, don't I don't think anything happened to me. Yeah, I think you were oh, stopped attacking at the right moment. Okay. Because I was definitely still auto attacking, that's for sure. Huh. Maybe they've got, made this version more lenient. I don't know. I'll... And I even attacked a couple times during that with actual skills. I, I stopped right. at the very end. Make sure to be careful. Just don't though. move at the very least. Yeah. And it'll have an AoE, but extreme caution right, will yeah. wear off. First. I'm just going to put my weapon again. Oh! All right, now move. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, it tries so to trick you. Yeah. yeah. Almost did. Yeah, if you try to move out of that early, uh, extreme caution will send you in the air, so you get hit by both. <laughs> oh, fun! Cool. So your instincts betray you. Yeah. Boom! Yeah, keep, keep coming. Oh my god, that was! <laughs> I thought, I thought that's how long we had to avoid it. It was like a split <laughs> second and went away. I'm like. Are you kidding? <sighs> that, uh, that one actually went first faster than the first boss. Oh, yeah. It's interesting. All right. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody else got the glamour uh, prism. Not me, for or clear prism. Uh oh, it was the healer. <laughs> it was about to scream at you. <laughs> Screech. Here comes the drill. Yeah, it's too late. Yeah, whatever. It's dead. You got it, Colonel? Alright. Yeah. I'm going big. 
you got uh, your machinist limit break ready? Machinist limit break? Yeah, I can do that. Or it's not a line, is it? Oh, it is. Or it a line. is even at level one. Okay, so try to. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Aim it to hit as many as possible. Not right now. All these? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you know when it's good. Yep. They're going after the healer. That's good. All right, so we should get all of them. Beam attack! And then some auto crossbow. Perfect. All right, you guys ready for the last boss? Yeah. Look who it is. I want his cape. I want the griffin's cape. Really now, you die. Mm -hmm. Forgot you even existed. Right. Fucking die. <laughs> yeah, don't All right, this guy has got yeah, some great me, voice Adam. lines that has been turned into many memes. Oh boy. Let's <laughs> just start with the drill. How'd you like this? I didn't look away. Sloppy. Oh, I might get hit. <laughs> yeah. There's the sloppy. Sloppy. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Yeah. I hate. Oh <laughs> sloppy. Bro. Listen. We know All right. one sloppy person. One sloppy. We, we need never. to attack the one in the middle. Okay. Can you? Drill, baby, drill! There we go. Look away from him. Oh, turn away. Sloppy! <laughs> Fuck you. Knockback. Get ready okay. to run back in. Okay. I should have turned away to do my jump, but it's fine. I ended up being okay. Yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> I did not think about how annoying that was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having to run this every day. Sloppy! Save the healer. Oh shit. Oh. Drill, drill, drill. Okay. Well, thank you, Perry. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> oh, almost. Every time, dude. Drill! Why'd you slow slop pee? He's a sloppy boy. Jesus. Slappy Joe. Slap or Slappy Joe. He's probably gonna die before. We, yeah. <laughs> we didn't save the limit break for him because we didn't need it. Bitch. Bitch. Take that sword. You put it. Sloppy. <laughs> we don't look too happy. No. Because fuck this guy. Oh, somebody just. What did I just get? Choker offending? Come I think on, you I didn't have to even... roll on it. Did I? Probably. No. Trousers offending, I don't need that. It's probably just gonna sell it. It's, it's actually useless. <laughs> it's level 60 gear that's not as good as other fending level it. 60 gear I have. Yeah, smoothly. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. But you cannot stop what I've begun. Behold, a glimpse of things to come. Turns up on their bloody doorstep. And this is for Alamigo, for Eosia. They die that others may live. Hmm. Look, May Lalafell being I evil. His name, but yeah, that. Yu Yu Hase, I think. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> I just heard a stock noise. It was from. I remember hearing it in GoldenEye. Stand your ground for the resistance. Jeez. I just heard another stock noise from GoldenEye. Holy shit! <laughs> I mean, it's not like Wilhelm scream levels of stock, but <laughs> I, I, I definitely know those sounds. Well, you reap what you sow, I guess. Jesus. You are. As you can see, our infiltrators did not elude me for long. Lady Ugiri is sending for an airship even as we speak. What do we do? This is a massacre! <laughs> How wonderful to see you, Commander. Ill bird. I should have known. This has to end. It has to end now! Do you not see your countrymen dying? Have your ideals rendered you blind even to that? Order the retreat, and we will help your soldiers to safety. Retreat? With the moment of my triumph so close at hand, you truly are a sheltered child, Lavinia. Mm. Right. Nidhogg's eyes. 
No abyss is too deep for you, I see. But trust me when I say that such power was not meant for mortal hands. How long have I struggled to reach this point? My countrymen, so inured to the taste of defeat, they no longer balk at its bitterness, shouting my throat raw with rallying cries, only to be greeted with dull eyes and blank faces. My brothers and sisters in Ulda have surrendered to their apathy and their appetites. Were it not for the glint of Lodorito's coin, I doubt even those here now would have answered my call. Take back our homeland! Free Alamigo! Ha! They'll happily mouth the words, but they won't spill the blood. You say no mortal should wield these eyes. Then I shall gladly become a demon. I will suckle on the souls of the hopeless and liberate the homeland they no longer deserve. What exactly do you mean to do? Did you hear their cries as victory was snatched away from them? Even with their dying breaths, they cursed the Empire. Never has their desire for vengeance been so raw, so true. A god has no need of faith when summoned by so pure a purpose. Summoned? You cannot mean to fight the Empire with a primal. You know full well the danger, the futility of relying on such power. Oh yes, I know their limitations. Which is why I will call upon a deity more terrible than the very black worm of the Calamity itself. What? Here? Now? Like hell, you will! Maybe I should shoot him <laughs> from a distance. He probably just thought that too. To mark a new ah! Ah! <laughs> Fuck! You have a gun? Took a bunch of fall damage. So I am off now. It's looking pretty grim. It's that song we were hearing in the city during the recent event. Yeah. This light, is it? His death completed the ritual. The primal is taking shape. There is one thing. What? Hey, where do you think you're going? Master Louis Soir briefly contained Bahamut by means of a potent spell of sealing. I will now attempt to do the same. But that's impossible! We would need hours to collect the necessary ether, if not days. Ah, uh, Alfino, though I concede it may not always be apparent, I was ever your grandsire's finest pupil. 
Fujimati, of course. The staff still holds enormous power, broken or not. Don't you dare, Pavalimo. I know how that spell works. Hmm. It is time to leave. Quite right. Just quickly now, off you go. The further away, the better. No. If you're staying, then so am I. No, Ida. There is a path only you can walk, and it must not end here. Not like this. I'm sorry I didn't trust you, Papa. <laughs> take her! Please, you have to take her! What? This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you. Go! What do we oh. do? What? What? Do we, do we have to stay at the side? Oh, I'm going to stay at the side. Time freezes. Or slows down. What the fuck? Yeah, okay. Blasted me back. Uh, fuck! I <laughs> well, I tried. I tried, everybody. That fucking blasted. <sighs> I bid thee farewell again, my dear Ida. It must suck to be a small girl carried well, easily by people. See how good a student. I truly was. The swords of a feeling light or some shit. Hmm. Yeah, of course it's foggy. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we don't get to see it in the sky? See it. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Uh, we're... In this direction I'm looking. This direction. Like way up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was wondering if we would be able to see it. Wow. Well, motherfucker. This is going to be some impending doom, isn't it? That's not going to hold forever, I bet. Oh yeah, we were told this is like a temporary hold. Yeah, seems like some Ganon's castle in Breath of the Wild shit. Like, it's like, oh, they released yeah. Well, yeah, they they said that um, what's his face sealed Bahamut briefly with the same spell. Right.
go back to the Rising Stones yet again. After this is just four more quests. Yeah, we can... Uh, now that I know I can use these orchestration rolls immediately... There you are. That was a fucking bummer. Yeah. Okay, back to the Rising Stones. <laughs> Gently pats you. Take that buff into the next room. Oh, wait, you don't keep it. Never mind. No mortal. Good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We do, do. We we know as Asians exist, right? We shouldn't have thrown the eyes down there. Just throw them to the side for a second. That's all. And again, I guess we left the eyes behind, unless they were consumed by the ritual. Don't make a minion, Orion J. God damn it. <laughs> Don't make a fucking minion. I can't trust it. I must away to my workshop. Oh boy, this room. So there's a bit of a history with this title you get from this quest, or from the one we just completed. School's out forever. So the title you get now is called The Finest People's Ally. Okay. When this hmm. quest first came out, the title was called Papa Limos' Final Witness. Ooh. Oh, that's very spoilery. Yeah, the developer got really mad at the translator for that shit. <sighs> Ooh. Wow. And people would wear it just to spoil people still going through the story. That's dumb. Wow. They could have just left it as the final witness. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or something. That's that's still a cool title. But nope, they had to directly state Papalima. That's wow. stupid.
I still want Tataru to have a little carbuncle buddy <laughs> that listens to her. Oh, yeah. So wandering away. <laughs> <laughs> still gone. Just fucking gone. Summons aren't supposed to do that shit, but these, that one did. <laughs> that imagery is still so funny to me. With it just waddling it's... away up the hill. <laughs> my boy. Oh, we get a samurai here? Oh, my gosh. Dude looks cool. It does not sound like <laughs> I was th I was expecting like a Japanese accent, but nope, not even close. Here we go. Still takes all sorts, I suppose. This here's Vespa Bay, Panalan's door to the ocean, as some folk like to call it. <laughs> understand from your answer that I have indeed arrived in Eorzea. This guy, this towering traveler. Reminds me of an annoying entitled customer. I think he's just like... Ah, a plane response at last, and the one I wanted at that. My journey was not without its hardships, and I would sooner travel <laughs> by land than put to sea again. <laughs> you do not man. believe that so small a bark could bear <laughs> me across the ocean? Such timid little sailors. I had but to set my course and set my jaw till I made port. <laughs> <laughs> just talking out loud. Yeah. Amazing. Like, nobody asked for this. Nobody, uh, no, nobody asked to listen Perhaps to this shit. I'd be wise to lay down my oars and suffer more than the spray of bride water. <laughs> Is she just gonna pass out? I will not hearken to the feeble grumblings of an empty belly. Duty comes before all. He's dead. I can't believe he's fucking dead. <laughs> Orion J is like, good God. He fucking ranted for like a minute and then just <laughs> gave up. <laughs> what the fuck? So, Samurai, was that introduced in. Stormblood. This was released Stormblood, okay. right before Stormblood. Or this. Gotcha. Uh, quest series. So, this is like the teaser. Like, hey, we're going to get Samurai next. This is yeah. what it looks like. <laughs> what a great introduction. <laughs> A man passing out. That's in Gridania. Oh, it's at the Ar Arcanist Guild again. Conjurer. Arcanist? Conjurer. Sorry. Conjurer. The other the other magic class. <laughs> ah, fuck the healers. Wow. Wow. Also, Arcanist. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you're going to roll healer next, right? For Shadowbringer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, I'm going to just change classes every single quest. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to level up to 70 for my next class, and then level up to 71 for the next class. That was a weird effect at the bottom of the screen. The water. Oh, yeah. Dear friends, pray accept my heartfelt thanks for your efforts in defense of Gridania's borders. I would fain dwell longer on my gratitude for the support of the Alliance, but the situation at Belsar's Wall demands that we forego such pleasantries. According to our most recent intelligence, the cocoon of light that formed in the air above the wall remains undimmed and unbroken. After measuring the cocoon's etheric concentrations, Archon Yishtola has confirmed the presence of a primal entity. <laughs> so we must assume that Ilbert's thrice damned god is indeed trapped within. And what news of the Imperials? 
They're not like to ignore such a spectacle. Yes, sir. A Garlian airship was observed making an approach, but the vessel was destroyed when it drew near. The Empire appears to have made no subsequent attempts to reach the object. The soldiers who witnessed the incident spoke of a lance of light issuing from within the cocoon. Of an entire warship being reduced to smoking ruin in the space of a moment. Veterans of Cartano, meanwhile, likened the destruction to that wrought by the fiery wrath of Bahamut. Which we still haven't done any of the coils of Bahamut yet. We could face another calamity. So the primal is awake then? Contained, yes, but for how long? We must destroy it now, lest it break free. Agreed. There is, however, the small matter of how to get close enough to a being that swats warships from the sky as you would a bothersome gnat. Is this truly so complex a puzzle? Oh God. <laughs> Or have you no stomach for the obvious solution? Of course. What in the hells are you doing here? <laughs> A pleasure to see you too, Garland. Oh, annoying piece now, of shit. Now, if you'd be so kind as to explain to these good people why you should be begging me for my assistance, that would be most appreciated. <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> I love it. <sighs> Nero's so great. Oh, how terrifically rude of me. Nero Tolskeva, former tribunus of the 14th Legion of the Garlian Empire. It's These been bothering me though. His face reminds me of somebody and has been for a while. Hmm. Can't complain it. What do you want, Nero? I was getting to that. Although you already know what I'm about to propose, old friend. As you have rather belatedly realized, within that frail binding lurks an entity Neuro's like spike from Buffy. Great I'm not familiar enough with it. And the only force in existence which might conceivably contend with such a foe is the very creation which captured the Elder Primal in the first place. I speak, of course, of Omega. Omega? That Hulk has been gathering dust beneath the plains of Cartanal since the Alagans breathed the last. And none alive knows how to wake it. I'm sorry. Do you understand who it is with whom you have the privilege of speaking? I'm Nero Tolskaver. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. The Prince of all Saiyans! Basically, basically. <laughs> Brought low by a clown! <laughs> and what? You just expect us to accept? You're a fool if you think your deeds at the Crystal Tower are enough to win my trust. I am cool so I can like you already. <laughs> Trust? You wound me, Garland. All those years studying side by side at the Academy, sharing both trial and triumph, we were countrymen once, you and I. But sentiment aside, have you a better solution? Or do you mean to send in your vaunted hero there, as you always do, and pray the world is not engulfed in flame? Yeah, is that was that going to be the plan? Just in the end, again. I mean, it has been the plan so for got, a while. I mean, I got fucking blasted back by Papalimo's tiny little bowl, <laughs> and then he created a gigantic one in the air. I think I'm not to the task. Point to the existence of some overriding technology, a means of control. 
I would ask a question, if I may. Nero, was it not? In the event that we succeeded in using Omega to shackle the Primal in the manner you propose, what then would become of it? Do we not risk repeating the mistakes of the Alagans? Omega is but a tool. How we choose to employ that tool is entirely up to us. Of course, if you would rather leave it buried beneath Cartano while you continue your petty squabbles above, then I suppose that is also your choice. Spare us, Nero. The Seed Seer's concern is a valid one. He who controls Omega wields the power of the gods, the very power which led the Alagans to destroy themselves. And does it not fall to we engineers to prevent such misuse? What was your company's proud slogan? Freedom through technology? <laughs> a creed you follow, is it? <sighs> what say you? Do we take this villain at his word? <laughs> oh, coming to me for an <laughs> answer. Just gonna say dot dot dot, you think. Hmm. No, but I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> As will I. I don't like it, but then it doesn't look like we have much choice. I beat that ass once. <laughs> What's changed? He's gotten more cocky, I guess, after being defeated somehow. Would the council be willing to entrust this matter to a pair of former Imperials? Yes. The task of restoring the Alagan relic will be yours, but the responsibility for its reawakening must remain with the Council. Do we condone this course of action? Aye. Good thing we do. Let the record show that we invest this contingent with the authority to enter Cartanau and take command of Omega. Sid, I appoint you leader of the expedition. Scions, I would ask that you assign some few of your number to escort Master Garland and supervise the other one. The other one? Won't even say my name. <laughs> we should be happy to oblige. The politics of Cardano being what they are, I dare say our neutrality will prove useful in avoiding any unnecessary entanglements. If I am not mistaken, Doma occupies a similarly neutral position. Might we not persuade you to join the expedition, Lady Yugiri? If you suspected any foul play from Nero, you would be welcome to kill him. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> My blade is yours. <laughs> I just love that side eye look. Did he just itch his ass just now? What was that I movement? Think he was laughing. Okay. <laughs> like he, he shifted to the <laughs> side and then did like a little a little I shake. He was like shifting to the side and chuckling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was like legit he was just scratching his ass right there. Like, <laughs> okay. Now I can shake your hand. <laughs> Question mark. I wonder what it is. <laughs> what, the, oh, no. what the fuck are oh, we gonna get? Oh god, please. Don't worry, it's good. Okay, as long as it's not just is it like a key to a fun mount or something. Again. No. Um Oh we're gonna go with the airship. Gotcha. Let's go with the airship landing. Oh, Um, no, not this guy. But oh, he, they take you to Ishgard now. Oh yeah, that's the airship expansion thing. Ah, cool. That's very good. So now, like, even if you're at Gold Saucer, you can go straight to Ishgard. I... And you let him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, here, wanted to inspect the airship, and you let him. 
<laughs> Did you let him inspect it? It's a wonder we haven't just thrown him in jail at this point <laughs> for war crimes. Mordona. Wait. Hmm? Oh, I thought airships went to Mordona all of a sudden. Oh, fucking wish. Yeah. Oh, I should have talked to Nero. Oh, did he have something to say? Probably. Oops. Probably something to say uh -huh. about Excelsior. Whoa, oh what my is... god. Huh? Oh, this is a... I'm put to sleep. I'm Aww. flying in the air and asleep. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna help this guy. Um, is this like a... Oh. This is an A rank, yeah. I'm... Oh my god. Can one of you a tsunami from down there? <laughs> uh, I don't have a tsunami. I don't even know what, is. Know what a tsunami is. It, it's a white spell skill that just cures anything. It dispels oh, a dead. debuff. Oh. So I'm just... So you're just asleep. I, I'm How asleep up here for 30 more seconds. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> you were just in the AoE. I was like, that's a gigantic AoE I was seeing there. Okay, I got 40 allied seals, 20 centurio skills, and three, 30 poetics. <laughs> that's... I fell asleep on the wheel. Bragging. Bragging. <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. Wake up! Hey! Okay. <laughs> you missed out. I took a full I think that he would have killed... <laughs> I think he would have killed that before we did anything anyway, so... Yeah. Okay. I was like, uh, I might as well get credit while we're here. I don't know where the fuck I am. <laughs> Jesus. That's funny. Just a, a minute-long nap in the <laughs> I air. It was... I thought that would, like, make you crash. <laughs> like, you would have, like, fall to your... To get hit by fall damage or something. Nope, just, just like stuck there. Fucking hell. Wait, we're letting Nero in here? I guess so. He's just having to he was having to look around. Hmm. So these are the fabled headquarters of the Scions. I confess I would have expected an order of self-proclaimed warrior scholars to surround themselves God, this guy is such an ass. man's enlightenment. <laughs> Yet there's not so much as a single piece of Magitek in sight. I have a Magitek weapon, thank you very much. It never ceases to amaze me how primitive you Eorzeans truly are. Oh, I'll have you know that the Rising Stones is home to the very latest in Magitek innovation. Hmm? Edge calls it the Mark 14 thermocoil boil master. And it's <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Using Magitech to cook. Funny thing is, this is going to be a recurring thing. <laughs> <laughs> the boil master. It's like a fucking George Foreman grill or something. Yeah. <laughs> we are returned. Is he going to give us like a, an upgraded boil master? Just to prove that he can make something better? That's the question mark. It's just a boil master. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> We're on Jay, brother friend. <laughs> Good fella gigas. <laughs> Stones, domicile of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I enter at the invitation of one Lord Urianger. <laughs> <laughs> I spy 
Are you there, Shadow Walker? You always were a hard one to find. <laughs> Yugiri, do you know this man? God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's running oh, at her. Okay. So it's like <laughs> bear hugger. It's huge. Why are you come to Eorzea? In search of you, Yugiri. For days and nights did I row across the angry sea. <laughs> I made port in good spirits, only for my own flesh to be over the trifling matter of an empty <laughs> belly. Collapse in the street like an unfed stray I was. Some like Luffy. Came to my aid. Constantly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> over a most welcome meal, we spoke of the flight of Doma, and I learned of our displaced countrymen's work to resettle this blighted land. It was blind fortune that I was able to locate you so swiftly. But now we must make ready to depart. Our master languishes in dire peril, and Doma calls her daughter home. It is not so simple, Gozetsu. There are obligations which bind me here. your oath during your flight from our homeland the laws of hospitality must be honored but surely the vow to defend your master demands a greater obeisance it was our master who bid me guide our people to safe haven by any means necessary and it was the scions you see before you who provided us succor and sanctuary when all others refused dire peril or no for I to return without first repaying such hospitality, our master would cut me down at the threshold. Hmm. Mayhap that is so. There is more. A crisis threatens all within this realm, Eorzean and Doman alike, and I go to play my part in its resolution. I will not bring shame upon our liege by abandoning my people or my duty. Hmm, how very noble of you. Now, in the name of honor, kingship, <laughs> and... Oh, yes. Jesus Christ. Might I suggest we get this expedition underway? Or would you rather debate the finer points of duty and leave Omega to the Empire? The Empire? You get it. You draw steel against the curse of Gollumold? Then why did you <laughs> say so? My blade is oath bound to fall upon the ranks of the Imperials wheresoever they march. Lead on, Shadow Walker. He has so and much energy. The enemy tremble at our coming. <laughs> oh my god, it's that pose. <laughs> yes, he's got the same. Fuck. <laughs> uh. uh oh, you measured me earlier. What's up? <laughs> Mm hmm Yes, we uh, ambushed you. <laughs> yes. That's oh, gonna be the gift. Yeah. You measured my breast distance correctly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> A little large in some areas. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. Snug, but not too snug, if you know what I mean. So, how's it feel? Thumbs up. <laughs> He's got a monocle. There we go, yeah. Well, that's cool. I'll probably glamour that on something. Unless that's actually good armor. It's level one. Okay, yeah, it's definitely glamour. Then. Whoops, didn't mean to draw my weapon. Hey, what's Nero gonna say? The Mark 14 Thermocoil Boil Master? Dear me, how risable must the previous 13 iterations have been? I 
they could design a more efficient water heater in the time it took to that ill conceived lump to become lukewarm. <laughs> he's getting jealous of this piece of technology he's just heard of. How dare you mock those ions like that? If I ever do so, a set of traveling clothes for him, I just might forget to take out the pins. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a quick Pose. stop to an end, real quick. Oh yeah, to do the clamors. Yeah. I'll probably. I might. Is any of this stuff dyeable? Yes, all of it yeah. is. Okay, then I might work on dyeing that at some point. A second. I'm wondering why she uh, made this, though. If she not made just everyone for the sake else of making outfits. It. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> she just made this like look really snazzy compar <laughs> in comparison with a tie and everything. I guess Alphano has a tie. All right, the frog. Going back to Marbadonna. <laughs> Let's people say Mordona. Okay, so he's just outside the city. Making sure there isn't a fucking giant sleep lizard here. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got it. Oh. Fuck's sake. I do think this is the last one. For this expansion. Right. I've got a story for the next expansion. The first one there. Oh. Mm. So many people are trying to do it at once that no one could do it for like oh wow three days straight uh, I, you think you might have mentioned that i might have like the like the people couldn't get into their own instant stuff because it was overloaded yeah <laughs> because it technically it's used crazy. server space oh my for God. solo stuff wow and it was so early in the expansion that
I've enabled the teleporter. One brief jump and we shall arrive in Omega's control room. How convenient. You've been here before. Of course. It was no easy task threading a path through all the skirmishes. But how could I ignore the existence of such a fascinating toy? You may trust that my preliminary examination was suitably thorough. Trust? Aye. I trust your appetite for technology. Oh. I chased down a suspect airship, and who should I find but the traitor, Sid Garland? Hello, new face. You won't be here for long, I'm guessing. I think a little bit of rosacea going on there on those cheeks. I think he's, he's just a redhead. Take care of that brute, will you? Hmm? I think he's just a redhead, so he's got freckles. No, he's got red cheeks as well. Yeah. He's got red Damn cheeks it. and freckles, but I think it's just supposed to be like. I don't know. That's how I interpret it, anyway. It seems like he's like. He's a jolly old man with the cheeks he has. I am Gorsetsu, Samurai of Doma. Okay, here's an accent. You like, all of a sudden. Use an accent yeah. for Samurai, that's about it. He didn't really samurai and Doma. Samurai. Foolish Samurai! <laughs> Sounds like somebody. It's, it's, it's like your mom saying tortilla. <laughs> tortilla. That, that's basically what that was. All these imperials emoting in the background. Uh huh. Well, I guess I'll take out 4% of your health. Yeah, this is mostly just a big show to, to show off Samurai before it came out. Okay. Ah. Look upon a Samurai of Dama. It's all over now. <laughs> you want to take some fucking heat off me? No retreat. No surrender. Your defense is nothing. Oops. Guess he's dead. We just had a team of fucking damage dealers. <laughs> Not a tanker healer among us. Excuse me, I have to take this. Oh. What was that look? <laughs> the face. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sneering or whatever. He ran away forward uh, for the Empire. Oh, my God, a lot of abilities here. Why didn't he just That's use this move. in the fight against us? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? This one will sting. 
Uh, you. No retreat. No surrender. <laughs> Jesus. Danger close. No <laughs> right? Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, everybody get group up on me. This is how it happens. Hey, <laughs> you just can't run off. How many times must I hit you? Oh, are we gonna fight this guy now? Come back here now, please! <laughs> Pitiful. <laughs> you bring this fate upon yourself. Oh. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Gonna stay in that fire a little longer, Ida. <laughs> Leave this to me. Are we letting him run? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to let him run before. It'll be you who roots this day. Stasis disengaged. All systems operational. Garland? All clear on this side. It's waking up. sensors immediately detected the presence of the cocoon even at this distance they must have been set to scan for sources of energy exceeding certain magnitudes i still don't see any means to control the machine directly it seems to have been designed to act wholly autonomously hmm. once we release omega we can be fairly certain it will attempt to capture the primal at belsar's wall assuming its mission is successful our only option at that point would be to re-engage its stasis system and put it back to sleep and should the machine happen to misbehave we'll simply initiate an emergency shutdown i confess we don't yet have a complete <laughs> grasp of its capabilities but i'm certain the details will not elude us for long well i understood less than half of that <laughs> so, my question to you is, are we doing the right thing? What do I think? Step 
aside, Sid. Is this the thing I need to press? <laughs> uh, yes, that's the one. Mm -hmm. The big button. The shiny candy like button. You gave too much for us to waste this chance, Tabalumo. So this is for you. And me. Free my pretty. Show us what you can do. A uh, damn. Sounded oh, pretty evil. About to say, you know, it's about seven. Super nice. So we're gonna have a Pacific Rim battle here. Kaiju versus Mech. Oh, just in time. Who is that primal? Uh, is it like a proto Bahamut? What the fuck is it? Undulating underside. <laughs> oh, Lord. This thing looks like a Final Fantasy Jesus. boss. Like, it looks like a, a boss from one of the 2D games. It, it is. Like, I feel like I've seen a sprite rendering of it. Recognize this good little Shinryu? Shinryu? Okay. I think we're behind enemy lines. Jeez. Dragon Ball yeah. at this moment. Just being battle. Is this happening like behind like in, in, in the Empire right now? Are we, like, fucking up their homeland with this battle? I think it's over in Garabanya. Hmm.
just seems like a lot of collateral damage could happen <laughs> here. Did I miss the end? Oh, you missed the fight between Omega and the summon, the uh, primal. Oh, you don't recognize? Omega has stopped her talking, but that shouldn't <laughs> be. I, I didn't engage the stasis system. And what does this signify? I have little understanding of these contrivances. Dog had to shoot the poor priests. The launch went exactly to plan, but all signals emanating from Omega have ceased. This may indicate any number of things, but we will need to join the Scions out in the field if we are to ascertain which one. Right. I've ordered a malfunctioning beast to go to sleep. That should prevent any unfortunate mishaps. I suggest we make our way back to Gridania. Uh, what? Omega yes. destroyed the cocoon. Papalumo's spell is fading. It was bound to his ether, you see. And if the connection is broken... Does she not have the echo anymore because Papa Limo isn't around? What the fuck? Are we leaving? Okay, Nero isn't here alone. <laughs> Good. I was like, we're not leaving him here, right? Are we just going to land this thing in their backyard? In Gridania? Final quest of Heaven's Orden. Nice. Okay. Been going for a little over six hours. <laughs> Does that mean our chocobo should be changing color soon? Oh, actually, it should, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's been six hours since we started, so yeah. Oh my god. Wow. It's a spicy long stream. Yeah, I wanted to get uh, done with Heaven Sword. I wanted to get to Stormblood. Let's see if I got the right color. Well, I can't summon mine yet. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, wait, no. Go to the house. It's a gold. Haha. There Old Gridania. Conjurer's Guild? Conjurer's Guild. Okay. I might, I might be, like, very tired and loopy. Mm-hmm. Nice of Nightbot to finally fucking speak up. <laughs> it's been a while since I drank some water. Alright, Mark, what do you gotta say? Had it not instructed you to throw Nidhogg's cursed eyes into the abyss, all of this might have been avoided. I thought them beyond reach. It's not your fault. Although. Although. Thanks. Do this. <laughs> you be nice to him. I mean, I I thought immediately, like, can't somebody just go down there to get them?
Shibuya Ryo. <laughs> what was Nero gonna say? Should very much like to see the Shinryu creature for myself. Oh yeah? I'll get the teleport. Mm -hmm. Gotta wait. Oh no, we're coming back. I can free teleport to you if I need to. That's true. Sure, free load. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd get offended by that. Mm -hmm. Why, I was willing to drop I was willing to drop almost two million gil earlier today. <laughs> for the house. Yeah. Sapphire it sounds like she's gonna fall over. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all I have to say. No trace of cocoon remains. Tis as if it ever existed. My friends, come back to yourself, our son. I am to see you both unharmed. <laughs> they say that Omega's clash with the primal shook the very firmament. You need not have worried. The battle took place far above the ground. We were able to observe in relative safety, though I'm given to understand that there were casualties on the far side of the wall. Whoops. It was like watching a nightmare unfold before our very eyes. Filbert's primal manifested in the form of a colossal dragon, a being of pure violence. It burst forth from the cocoon with such terrible force. That such a horror should spring from the eyes of Nidhogg comes as no surprise. Nor do I wonder at its form. Ilbert all but announced it in the moment prior to his death. Plainly, it was his dying wish to visit a second calamity upon the Empire. And I am quite certain the Abomination would have obliged had it not found itself outmatched by Omega. Gods! I am no stranger to the works of Alag, but even I was unprepared for the machine's furiosity. I beckered belief. And how fares poor Ida in the midst of all this? Have you spoken with her? She's up on the platform, lost in thought. We deemed it best not to disturb her, but mayhap she would welcome some company after all. Shall we? The light's gone. It was all we had left of him. Ida. I don't blame anyone. I knew what was going to happen. I knew the spell Papalimo meant to cast would drain away his life force. I 
knew that it would only buy us a little time. Ida, there is no need to explain. I can't hide in Papalimo's little shadow anymore, and I shouldn't hide behind my sister's mask. Twenty years ago, on the day the Empire marched into Alamigo, I was still just a child, not even five summers old. My father had been one of the leaders of the revolution. He had fought to overthrow the mad king, Theodoric. And my sister had fought alongside him. She was strong and kind, and always knew what to do. But when the Garleans came, everything changed. My father went to war against them too, and I never saw him again. After that, I remember a lot of running. My sister dragged me for moms and moms until we came to the city of Charlia. That was where she met Master Lee Hua. He introduced her to the Circle of Knowing, and she eventually became an Archon. She was your inspiration. Is that not why you took up her mask and her name? Or did you simply mean to continue what she had started? You've known all along, haven't you? That I wasn't Ida. Of course. We all recognized you at once. It was Papalimo who persuaded us to maintain the charade. It was silly to think I could fool you. I knew that even then, but I... I sort of... decided not to know. Ida died six years ago, on a mission to smuggle refugees out of Alamigo. They say she was overwhelmed by Imperial soldiers when she stayed behind to save the little girl. She was so strong. There must have been a lot of them. Okay. I'm sorry for lying to you. My real name is Leaf. When Papalimo brought me Ida's mask, it was meant as a keepsake. I decided I wanted to be his new partner, to keep alive all the good that she had done. I didn't want to become Ida, exactly. At the time, though, I still didn't know who I was myself. And it almost seemed easier to play the role. Papalimo agreed to help, of course, but it was never what he wanted for me. He wanted me to walk my own path, and those were his final words to me. The Archon's mark he gave me is faded, and my last excuse along with it. So this is it. Whatever I choose to do from now on, I do as Leaf. And I choose to continue my family's fight. I want Alamigo to be the country that Ida and my father always wanted it to be. War is upon us once more. Standing against the Empire. Would you have chosen a different road, knowing what you know now? To claim that I never doubted the decision would be a lie. But I made my choice, and I have defended it with blade in hand ever since. The battle continues, and our steel is needed. 
Come, Shadow Walker. We leave for the east. For Dover. Dude's name translates to Section 5. Mm. Hmm. Set there. I guess so. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the credits. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I mean, we've seen the credits twice at this point. Oh, okay, you skipped it. All right, it's fine. A lot of people worked on this, but okay. <laughs> More cutscene. Pippin's on the front line. <laughs> More cuts. I heard the music. I was like, please, please just. <laughs> 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 Got a lot of lions up in this bitch. A lion, griffin, birds. Bert. Bert deeper. <laughs> Tiger. Tiger. Tiger, tiger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fact that it almost works. <laughs> Sir, are you asleep? <laughs> did, 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 uh, you will be done. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I almost <laughs> woke myself up. This mask is fucking ugly. Yeah, it's just. Mm -hmm. Graphically speaking, and just pure design, it looks pretty shit. It's a, it's a little too busy. Yeah. Right? I think um, Ilbert's Griffin design was pretty simple and uh, effective. It, it was more memorable. I can't. I can't. If you were to tell me to recount his face right now, I couldn't. Storm of blood. Oh Storm of blood. Okay, can we accept this new class? Actually, we don't have to. Do yeah, we? we don't have to. We can just yeah. leave it in the. Yeah, because it might even start with another yeah, cutscene. It probably will. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Go back outside if you want the, the what you call it, the uh, sanctuary bonus. I'm gonna go back to the after looking up free company house to get the bird. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can get your choke bow. I'm gonna stop the stream though. Um. <laughs> I may or may not do stuff off stream like uh, 
doing glamour stuff. And if I get a second wind, I might do some stuff. But my God, it is three a.m. Yeah. But yeah. I might. Just but thanks for a, helping us along. It was six hours, twenty minutes. <laughs> we we're streaming. Sheesh. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Stormblood. We sort of to do stuff. I'm because I. I, I know people and you have ridden around that spider Omega Mac before, so I have to assume that we'll be able to get that through the story. No. Or or is that through an extreme fight of Omega? Shadow blue shit. I tried going for green and it's shadow blue. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to do more chocobo feeding. Uh what but yeah. Uh, the, what you call it to a T? I did. Uh -oh. But there's just a bit of randomness. Oh, that's fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I but... I see how mine is. But that, uh, that mount is from... Is that from an extreme or a savage fight? It's from a savage, yeah. Okay. I mean, they had told everyone what it was before uh, the expansion came out. It's the uh, mm. Eight Man Raid series. Okay, that would be definitely something I'd want to get at some point. But it's even unsynced. I think that would be. Oh, it's I couldn't do it. Unsynced. It's not something you couldn't, right? Even with the full <laughs> party of eight level eighties, it was hell. Mm -hmm. Wait, gotcha. Oh, I have to do a cutscene. Ah, <gasps> I think I, I think I got it. You think you got the blue you yeah. needed? Yeah, look at my beautiful boy. Beautiful. Meanwhile, mine's blue. When I want to, want to stop the stream now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. This blue ain't too bad. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, thanks for coming to stream, Ron. If you're still there, and uh, anybody who's watching the six-hour video, Jesus, yeah. I, uh, I don't know who you are, but thank you, I guess. 